Fuck you, bitch. Where is Jared? So Jared, I'm gonna uh, kill what's him. it called? Oh, uh, never mind. I think. Uh, level... Alright, it's time to kill you guys. My E kitten was playing Valorant in a plus one without me, and it's time for <laughs> everyone to die. <laughs> Look, I saw that TikTok today, too. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, so we got at least four. So, Matt, you're currently by yourself. Uh, BDF just kind of high phases into the wall and disappears. And are you guys over uh, with Jared? Jared, PP just uh, seems to. PP just. Oh, wait, is that all? I'm I wasn't talking, so I can't talk right now. Um, PP kind of just zones out and just stares at the sky. What's up with this uh, kid? Unresponsive. Um, we'll start with the party that uh, consists of Nick, Anthony, and Jared, though. Um, yeah, it's just cleared out a few little houses over here, took on some vampires, and um, found found some pretty pretty cool looking items. Um, last session, you guys split up, and the Party consisting of this party uh, ended up going down into the obelisk that they had found, and when uh, Fear went to go touch the coffin that's in the center of this room, he passed out. And when he awoke, uh, uh, when he awoke, in you, uh, Jared and no, oh, not Jared. Only Anthony could Bye. see a uh, uh, look, looks like possibly like the Grim Reaper shadowing over fear and no one else has been able to see it uh he's been thinking that he might be just be losing his mind or he's just sleep deprived or maybe he's just really exhausted from not being in the water um it has been you guys have about maybe three hours before you hit the second level of exhaustion uh since it's been oh. almost 48 hours no water yeah we forgot uh, to tell that to you Aunt. sorry day two no cat <laughs> so um uh what do you guys decide to do so i'm i'm conscious now right yeah you're conscious you guys that's yeah, as well though yeah oh yeah. i'm yeah. bakun you're here what the hell happened to pp huh he's right there and i point at him and see that he is like staring off into the distance uh i think he, i think there's something wrong with him yeah, I think that much. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm, I wave my hand at his eyes, and his his people do not move. Uh, can you like maybe put him in your backpack again until he comes to? Uh, can you put him in there? I, I don't want to start getting hungry. Oh, sure, you get whatever. Me. All right, I'll grab him. So I'll, yeah, I'll, um, I'll bend down. And, uh... <laughs> I'll stuff him in there. I'm not being careful. In fact, I put him in there upside down. <laughs> <laughs> And then I close it out. All right. You are now carrying a pee pee. Uh, I'm always carrying that thing on me. Honestly, I'm all, I always got that thing on me. Uh, well, I mean, should we try to open it again? All right. Did, did the coffin ever open? I don't. Oh no no no! Well, we left that room. The coffin did open. What was in it? Definitely. There's nothing in it. There was nothing. No, in it. there was you a ghoul in it. No, the ghoul was just always on Nick as soon as he came to. It wasn't inside. We opened it up and there was nothing inside. And then yeah. I walked over here because we're looking for water now. And then I think I opened this. We killed, what, three uh, vampires or whatever? And then we came into this house and I think there's nothing in I don't remember what was in here. Can you, you found describe you found... what was in this house? Oh, you, yeah, the bags. You, you found the, the floorboard that you guys pried open and there was a chest containing the three items that were in the general chat. Yeah. So I think right now, Nick, so we you have the hat of disguise on you, and I have the whistle and the boots. Okay. And I'm just holding them right now. I, I think I just showed them in my pack, and I said, "Don't give the whistle to PP." And that was so, the top, I think. What is the? So you need to attune to these items, right? I yeah. Assume. Yeah. yeah. You right, I'm just. Whistle. I'm just putting the hat on we'll just for you. fun. Uh. <laughs> that Lord Jared. Put the hat on. I scary. put the hat on because I think it looks funny. So <laughs> I assume it doesn't do anything because I'm not attuned to it. No, it doesn't feel like anything different. 
Alright. Um, I think I hear hold on. I, your backpack is rustling. PP, is it are you are you awake now? You can dump about. Uh PB, hello? <laughs> Hi. Uh, I'll... I had a dream I got some water because I mean I know damn well we're not getting in this game. <laughs> <laughs> You're goddamn right. Well, I'll drop him out of the backpack. <laughs> it's upside down, he lands on his feet. I go to fist bump him, and then when he comes to fist bump me, I like pull it back and brush my hair back. <laughs> yeah, you're just <laughs> stealing your bit from your fucking paladin. <laughs> <laughs> or from your druid. Right, so PP has arisen, and he he is also right. very tired because oh. he has not been hydrated in almost forty eight hours. Um. All right. So do you f like? Can you guys like like? Are you okay? Like, do I need to carry <laughs> both of you? Like, um, I'm good for I'm a little dead. bit. Let me look up exhaustion again. I literally don't remember what level two is. You lose half your movement, movement at level two, I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think pretty soon I'm going to slow down, but for now, I think we're good. We need to find some water stat. Yeah, we, we do. Um, um, can I, can I make like a, like a, what, what would it be like a nature check to find like running water? Not necessarily like running, but like, just maybe natural like a water. river. Yeah, like yeah. natural water, I guess. No, you can do a nature check. Okay. Why is there a big dice in that one? Uh, I'm not very good at nature, but we're gonna go for it. Uh, nine plus ba, 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 zero, so nine. <laughs> um, you don't really feel like there's any water nearby. Um, you guys do remember outside of the castle that there was a, a um, there was like a not. They're, they're, like you guys are kind of close to like the the sea, but that's like the last time you remember seeing water. Because well, you're kind of like kinda... that wouldn't work anyway, right? You're... No, work. Really we, I think we I think we established that any water works. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, you said we're kind of close. Like, yeah, you're kind of like on the coast. Like, like maybe kinda, about kinda maybe about, like a, like a like, ten minute walk or like a couple hour walk. A couple hour walk. That's not. I don't think that's worth it. Agreed. Yeah. I mean, do you know? Do you have any indication of direction? Because quote unquote work. No, I like, don't. I don't. So even if <laughs> I knew where the fucking thing was, like, well, you just know that we are hours away from water from yeah, any sort from, of from, water. So. Well, not I necessarily, but water. the only known body of water is hours away. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I mean. Not really a question of work, I don't. Like, I don't think it's. I don't think it's worth it because we still don't have the other two, or other three. I, um, guess. I mean, we are going to be severely incapacitated here pretty soon, but um, I think it's probably better that we just look around here. I think, I think that's also a good idea. Yeah. Uh, Devin, really quick, are these three units? Is this one house? Like, did we, are we done? Did, yeah, that's what that's, 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 that's yeah, that's one big house. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we are about done here, I think. Yeah. I mean, Where if you guys want to just check the rest of the village to the south wall, we wait Who's for that? Jack to... You guys hear that? <laughs> Who's that? I, I don't really got anything to do until Jesse gets back. <laughs> you hear Lechuga in your head. <laughs> water. Yeah, he's giving so... me advice. Wait, What's the water. thing from Dragon Ball Lechuga where they're able to talk to each other? I instant transmission in and hit Jerry with the spirit bomb. <laughs> Sorry, the Genki Dama. What's yeah, I hit, him, oh, I hit him with the Gekyum. I don't uh, think it... Um, so, I mean, where did we, we come from? We came from here? I mean, right? um, here. We came from See, the courtyard. Did we come through the way. woods? No, no, no. Not, yeah. not, as in, where did the three of us just come from? You were in uh, here. And you were in here. Okay. And then we went over here. Yeah, and this is where you guys... Over here is where you guys came from. Like this is where you initially came into the the, the castle's territory, right. basically. So this big wall over here, do we? Since I missed two sessions, did we like, come in from this explored? side, Devin? Is that what, Matt? And did we come in from this side? Yeah, right here. From this side, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm talking about this wall on the opposite end, next to the would-be water that is not actually water. 
has anyone been here? Do we know that this is so here? they came in here and fought a bunch of vampires, okay. and but then there was a tree right here that smacked Matt for almost 50 damage. Okay, um, I don't think we're gonna have any luck if we go e back to the old village that we came from. I don't think there's gonna be any water in there. We should probably move forward. Um, we still don't know how long the other two are gonna be, so. I think, I really do think our best bet is finding, like, running water in a house. Cause in a house. Either, I mean, or maybe, maybe this castle has, like, a moat or that's something. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. If we get closer to the castle, there might be, I feel like we're more likely to find some source of water. Is this house that we just came out of, Devin, is this, like, decrepit? Yeah, it's kind of destroyed. It's held up better than the other houses okay. around, but... Yeah, all these houses are fucking decrepit. I'm fairly certain none of these are going to have any source of water that we're going to be able to draw from. So I think our only bet is to either wait for them. We really don't know how long they're going to be. Um, time so... to wait. If you guys are going nuts in like an hour, we don't have time to wait. I'd say we have... Checks my watch. Three hours... That's so we can we, yeah. We, that's, that's, I don't think it's like he sets a three time. hours. We can make it to the ocean, you know. He has an Apple Watch with timers for twenty four hours increments. Yeah, um, aren't we fucking aren't me and Jesse in the castle? You don't know where you are. Right? You don't know where you, where you are necessarily, but you are in a what seems a little bit fancier than everywhere else you've been around here. Oh, that's right. We went through, like, a tunnel and came up on, like, a mirrored room and climbed up. Okay, I thought we climbed back up to the surface. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess our, really our only... That. Yeah, our, our, <laughs> yeah. honestly, man, don't... <laughs> we got it. Yet. <laughs> I mean, yeah, our only option, really, is to go forward. Unless you, like, really think we could find water out here. I really think we aren't going to find water out here, actually, so I feel like we could probably move forward. I, if you really wanted to, you, you could hang out height. until the other two shut. What'd you say? We need to get to height. What, to height to, like, look around? It's yeah. foggy. You can't see shit. Oh. Yeah, the fog's not going to help us. We're not We're not going to be able to see anything through the fog, even with height, so... I think... We, no, I, I don't think leaving me here is... Okay. Like, you two are pretty Probably fragile. Right. We only have one stake between the two of us <laughs> and three of us, don't we? I guess we could make another one. Do we Do we ha Do we? we each have a stake? I don't remember. I have stakes. I had one. Okay, I can I, like, I, I, think, I'm I pretty sure I still have it. I'm pretty sure you oh, yeah, yeah, I did. three I that did. were here. Yeah, I so did I'm going to hand it back to you, and before we do anything, I'm going to walk over this tree. Can I, like, fashion a stake? I'm pretty sure I did that at some point and made a stake out of, like, a something fucking random. Can I do that again, Devin? Will that work? Yeah, it'd just be like a nature check or not nature, but yeah. um, what check is that? Survival. Uh, I'll just go survival. Yeah. Survival. I'll just rip a branch off this tree, uh, and I'll try to make two. One for me, one for her. Should I do two, or is one good enough? One roll. Is PP getting yeah. up close to vampires? I mean, oh wait, is what one one? Yeah, uh, I was gonna I'm say. Making, like, I, mean, I don't. He probably it. won't, but I might as well make two so he can have one just in case. Yeah, that's fair. But you said what one roll one time or roll two times? Yeah, should I should I roll once or twice for both stakes? I'll just roll once. That'd be fine. Okay. No! I fell off. You did fall off. No cap. <laughs> uh, is this one? This is one. Uh, rolling survival, right? A little yep. bit of a three. Let's go. Plus. <laughs> plus. Where's my survival? Plus one. At the bottom. Four. I mean, <laughs> it's really hard to mess up a steak, but your steak looks kind of... <laughs> Kind of ghetto compared to Fear's steak. It looks a little oh. well done. Here, here, here. You take it, cause like <laughs> I, I could, I could take a bite or two. You take mine. I mean, and I'll toss. I'm gonna, it I'll just chuck the one I made, the two I made over my shoulder, and say, "All right, thanks." Yeah, like <laughs> maybe you should try to make another one or something, but I don't think I would be able to. I mean, I could um, try. I'm not, I'm not a handsy man, you know. <laughs> yeah, clearly me neither. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know with your track record. Okay, motherfucker. <laughs> well, let's go. And I'm gonna start yeah. walking. I'm I guess we're gonna walk to towards where I pinged earlier, just like right here. Yeah, you two should direction. stay behind me. All right, sounds good. Since you're you're already exhausted. 
If it gets to the point where you can't walk, you could get in my backpack, but... Let's go. Do you think you can hold both of us in there? It's going to be pretty tight, you, tight fit. It might be a tight... I could definitely carry both of you, but how well you fit in there is up to Devin, I guess. Alright, well, if it comes uh, to it... I don't like, think both will fit in the backpack. Right. I think one fits in the backpack and the other one be held. But... Yeah, okay. My, I'm wearing boots and gloves and I have a cloak, so if you need to carry me, like, you should be fine. Yeah, I mean, you're... You Why both are, like, under your four head? pounds. I'm just saying, like, you won't have to get poisoned or whatever the fuck my... Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, alright, so I guess we'll just start walking. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll I'll lead the, the pack. Sure. I'm not sure which way we're walking, but... Yeah, you guys move your pieces so I know where you're going. Oh, yeah, I just grabbed all three, my bad. You can, that, that works, I mean. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you wanna, so I was that. thinking we go this oh. way. Oh, they're all clumped together now. We're hugging. Um, So we'll just pass this where we came from and just keep it going forward to here-ish. I guess this is the first time we're seeing it, so... This is not the first time. Everyone's been through here besides... Oh. Yeah, they went through Wait, did you guys before. come up here and then backtrack to this thing? Did we? Yeah, yeah we needed so... the rest because I got one shot by the tree. I thought that was a tree back here, though. No, it was uh... a big thing right here. That's oh, here's yeah, here's you're there. right. You're right. You're right. Okay. 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 All right. So yeah. we'll just uh, walk on. Did you kill that tree or is that, is that really still chilling over oh. there? <laughs> one was one shot. They had left. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll take a wide berth around that guy and then go over here. Oh, into darkness. All right, one second. So yeah, completely avoiding the tree and the the tomb over here as well. Has someone been into this thing? No, we you know they went close to it, and Matt went to get close to it, and then Matt was like, "I'm gonna go check out the tree." And then the tree smacked him for like forty nine damage. Split up. So you want, we listen, split up. If you want to go in, the, like you're the sneaky one. Like if you want to go in there. Feel free, but if you get hit by it, you're probably dead. Wait, you're talking about the mausoleum? Yeah, or uh, whatever. If I go I near that, will I get hit by the tree? Is the tree there, like close enough to that? The that tree, the tree is pretty close, but I, I don't know if it has yeah. like fucking magic vision or whatever. I don't think I want to get anywhere near that. Like, okay. if somebody was gonna go in there, you have the best shot. Is mostly what I'm saying. But yeah, okay. Wait, just uh, outside. Of this, is this where Devin or not Devin? Is this where Jesse and Matt are? You guys don't, 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 don't know. We don't know. Okay. So someone recount what happened to me. Okay, before so you guys went, you rested it wherever you rested, and then you split up. So you rested. Matt and Jesse went into the uh, pond where the black okay. pudding came out of. Gotcha. You guys went to the we went here. pillar, and that's the last. They thing we they found a sewer grate and went down. Uh, okay. And the paths kept changing every time they went down a different one, and okay. they ended up some inside of somewhere that they have not been yet. And then okay. you guys went to that little village to the side, and yeah. here we are now. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, uh, I find it unlikely that a mausoleum would have water, so I don't really see any reason to go near like there right now. Holy water, you know, like the baptized thing, be that. Uh, but you think there will be enough of it for I'd... two of us to sleep in? <laughs> I think there'll be uh, vampires. There could, there might yeah, that, be. I, oh. You know what? Matt makes a good point, but he's not here, so I wouldn't <laughs> <not> hear that. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with my original theory that. and think that there is holy water. There could be holy water in a mausoleum. Holy water in a mausoleum. <laughs> um, that's possible. PP, what do you think? Um, Orion's belt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. Um, okay. Uh, well, we need water ASAP, Rocky. ASAP. No uh, we don't know where our party is. Yeah. We're in the fog. Yes. There's, There's vampires a big all around. But so... we're together. And do you really need anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> and then a Call of Duty Four montage plays. Yes. Like you know, hell you know yes. the whole deal. Yes. Hell yes. Um. <laughs> so so we can we can either take. Well, we're we're taking a gamble either way that there's a moat or some sort of water ahead, or there's holy water in this little fucking right. shit house. So you think we should check out the mausoleum, or what do you think the likelihood? I mean, is the water in there? I don't. I mean, I don't know Probably about likelihood. Either. I don't. I don't think Fuck that it. much. Fuck it. Honestly, whatever. I'm gonna stealth and go in. 
You have disadvantage on ability checks because of level <laughs> one exhaustion. <laughs> Maybe I should because I could tank the tree. Okay, I just got a three. Yeah, maybe I should because I can tank the tree. And then I got a 10. All right, I got a three. You just tell when I say, okay, how stealthy do I look? <laughs> Devin, thoughts on that? What's he doing? He's running at it? I got a three. No, okay, he, he so... turned to me and goes, how do I look? <laughs> you think that he... Looks like he's about to just run straight forwards. He doesn't seem like he's being stealthy at all. Um, hey, hey. He literally oh, no, actually no, has no. a thing of a bunch of leaves stuck to the bottom of his shoe right now. Hey. And they look really crunchy. Calm hey, calm down. I will go in the mausoleum. You stay here. Okay? You scratch my chin. All right. I guess. And I, I would know, like, the I'll general direction of which way the tree was compared to the mausoleum right no because matt kind of just ran out in the fog and (laughs) came screaming back to you guys after (laughs) being smacked really hard i will i will slowly walk towards uh the mausoleum and give me one second uh are you rolling stealth are you just just walking i am i am just walking but I I remember Barbarian can't get hit by like an opportunity attack or something. So give me a second and make sure I'm right. Uh, well, that's not an opportunity attack. It'd be if you ran well, away. Well, no, no, it, it's like uh, like like you will see all attacks coming at you or something. Oh, okay. Something like uh, ba yeah, danger sense. Uh. You gain an uncanny sense of when things nearby aren't as they should be, giving you an edge when you dodge away from danger. You have advantage on deck saving throws against... I don't know. It's against things I can see. Never mind. So, it it wouldn't apply. But yeah, I'm going to slowly walk towards the mausoleum. Right. Um, I guess, like, directly from where I'm standing. Alright, so... As you... As you walk towards, you can hear the creaking of uh, what sounds like wood. As you're walking, you it, gets, it gets louder and louder. And you can finally see the mausoleum. Um, you can't see anything else, but you can hear this horrid like, creaking sound nearby. Like someone <laughs> stepping on creaky floorboards? or like It just sounds like wood like moving. Uh, is it towards the mausoleum or away from it? It's really close towards the mausoleum. Um, uh, you can kind of hear with your with your uh, with your senses. You're able to feel that you can feel like something burrowing underground. I, um, I can I can feel it or hear it. Yeah, you can feel it because the ground's like kind of shaking. You can kind of feel it. it. Feels like a tremor, to like a really slight tremor. Um. Then, is it like coming towards me, or is it just kind of all around? It's just kind of all around. Then I think I would try to sprint and bust my way through the front door of the mausoleum. All right. Uh, roll like a. Roll damage, I guess, like to roll like a D eight. Okay. Um, Plus your uh, strength. Pringles can don't fail me now. <laughs> okay, five plus four, so nine. Nine. Yeah. Well, you immediately burst through the door, making a loud noise as it just falls apart in front of you. The door didn't seem like it had really much resistance. Um, you're now on solid concrete, and you can see a staircase going down. And that's it? That's all that's in the yeah. room? Yeah, it's just a staircase going down. Um... I'm gonna yell. Or do I still feel like the trembling, or no? Yeah, you can still kind of feel the trembling around. How far away would you say that I moved from my party? 
about 20 to 30 feet somewhere within that. I'm gonna yell, uh, guys, if you're gonna make it here, make it quick. Otherwise, stay there. Why? There's trembling <laughs> on the ground. I don't know what it is, but inside the mausoleum seems sort of safe. Maybe they got water. There's just, a, I, all I could see is a staircase going downwards. That's all that's in here. Well, water is usually downwards, like a well, so maybe we go down there. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's either that or I could try coming back out and throwing you in here or something. My fucking mic was muted. Devin, is the ground troubling for us too as well? Uh, you can't really feel it as hard as he was feeling it, but it does feel like it's kind of shaky. Okay. Um, how far away are we from the mausoleum? 30 to 25 feet. All right, or 25 uh, 30 feet, my bad. Backwards. I guess, I'll just, I guess I'll just dash over there. Let's go! I say to PP. I'm grabbing his hand. crawling on the floor like a zombie. You're not even exhausted yet, motherfucker. <laughs> you got half movement speed. Not yet. Not yet. We have two more hours. We like th no, we have like two more hours or so. Oh, okay. Then I'm yeah. going. Not quite, not quite. All right, so we'll just run in. All right, you guys, as you guys get closer, you can feel the trembling really intensely since you're lower to the ground, it feels rather terrifying. It feels like something's burrowing beneath you, and you hear a lot of wood creaking, but you're not sure where it's coming from. Uh, but you managed, to, you managed to make it in, and you can see Fear standing at the top of the staircase, um, waiting for you guys to make it in. Wait, staircase? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, right, yeah. So, so you guys are now all at the top of this, uh, top of the staircase. What do you guys decide to do? Uh, all right. I mean, might as well go down. Just we're fucking, all here now. We're only the only thing that we're looking at is a doorway and a staircase down. Yep, it's all in there. Oh, I guess we go down. Uh, Let's go. One of you hold it. PB, hold the torch. Uh, okay, oh, leave yeah. the door open. Well, I broke the fucking door, so yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's not closing, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I'll light a torch, hand it to, or I guess you could light it. You're a mage. <laughs> and I'll remove right. the torch from my yeah. bag, and then I will start going down. All right. As you guys are heading down the stairs, you can kind of see the kind of a faint light. <laughs> Um, I guess you get lower and lower down the staircase. It's not that long of a staircase. Um, and you guys come into a room that is just, um, just filled with other coffins. Uh, these ones, these ones are all wooden though. The wooden coffins. All right, I want to walk. How many? Uh, there's two on each side, so left and right, and then there's one at the end of the wall. Loot boxes. All right, so them. there's <laughs> All right, there's five, <laughs> two on each side, and then one at the end. So there's five. Yep. Yeah, we got uh, some so if I, so if I was a betting man, the one in the middle is important, and the other four that like who gives a fuck. Uh, but I'll do. Hold on, hold on. Do they have any like? Uh, is there any like symbols on them or like engraving or anything, or are they just wood blocks? There is symbols on each of them. They all have their own distinct symbol. Would I, rec the yeah, one. would I recognize any of them? Oh, they're just so the one on the le left in the front, like so left immediate. The one closest to you on the left has a uh -huh. moon, on, a moon on it, like a half moon, crescent, a crescent moon. Better way to describe it. Wait, is it the RuneScape quest? I've done this. <laughs> <laughs> the one after that has a um, as a hawk. The okay, one in welcome. the one in the middle has a whale. The one on your right and closest to the one in the back has a wolf. Urgh. And the one closest to you on your right has a um butterfly. Sorry, was that a uh, moon, whale, wolf, butterfly? It is moon God damn it. Moon, hawk, 
whale. Oh. Moonhawk whale. Wolf butterfly. This is Skyrim yep. claw. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna walk up to the one that has the moon symbol on it and I'm gonna knock on it. Does anything happen? You just like you just like knock on like a door? Yeah, like I'm kinda just like tapping it to see if I can Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Alright, I'm gonna open it. Be it's careful. nailed when you try to pry it open or open it up, um it seems like it's nailed down. Oh. Nailed down. Alright, fear. I, I I pat it on the top. I think this is a job for you, big man. Are you sure we should open these? Um, no. <laughs> well, we have we have nothing else to go don't off of. Don't have anything else unless unless somebody understands Moonhawk Werewolf Butterfly. Moonhawk. Let me think about it. I don't think it's a language. So. Moonhawk Werewolf Butterfly. Um, uh, I mean, it means nothing to me. The. No, yeah, I mean... It, Maybe we shouldn't open them. I mean, we could. I don't mind opening them, but... I feel like if we were going to open it, Moon is not the one to open. Really? What makes you say yeah, that? Moon, Peter Griffin. Because they're all, all the other ones are animals. So, like, why would oh, we yeah. open the odd one out? You scared of celestial bodies or something? I mean, what if it's, like, God in there? So what if it's the God of the Moon? That's a good point. I would much rather face the god of wolves than the god of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> <I wouldn't. laughs> like, I don't know. I I, I have I'm like a yeah. <laughs> what's what's a whale gonna do? You know, like it's just gonna be big in there. Yeah, like, I'm not suddenly you, my ability to kill I mean, a whale. I'm suddenly you hear in our ability to do anything in here. Right. I can definitely open these. I can kill but you guys. My they're ball. There's probably a pattern that we're not seeing. I am not smart enough to figure I, it out. Can I uh, can I roll perception to like look around the rest of the room, see if there's anything else going on in the walls, yep. ceiling, or anything like that? Yep. Go ahead. Some sort of hint. What is that? Twelve plus perception. My perception is three. So I got a fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. You see a bunch of hieroglyphics on the wall. Um. They're kind of just, like, around the entire, like, uh, mausoleum. Okay. Um, you're, it doesn't seem like a, like a language, as it just seems like some kind of ancient, um, you know, like, kind of like how it is with Egyptian, how, like, hieroglyphic, it's not really a language, but it's, like, a, just how they try to, uh, tell stories. Okay. Um, as you look around, you kind of see that... There's a little bit difference between each coffin, with the, the symbol, with that symbol, and the coffins are all like kind of differently shaped. Okay. Um, they all. And then you notice that the three in the back, the, far, the three farthest ones, are kind of up on a pedestal compared to the two on the ground next to you. Okay. So um, is that it? there's a difference in height. There's yeah, there's a difference in height. There's uh, hieroglyphs on all over the walls and. Uh, it's kind of fairly lit in here. Um, there's, see, there's torches, th there's like tor torches on the wall and they have like the purple flame that you have been seeing all throughout the area. Hmm. Um, so attack. we didn't gleam anything from the hieroglyphics. It's a random hieroglyphics yeah, all gonna, over the wall. Yeah, I was going to say, could you, like, you said it might tell a story. Would we be able to... Yeah, can we tell what kind of decipher a story out of what we could see, or so you can see uh, in one. Well, if you were to look at the one, the hieroglyphs, like so, we're looking like left from right, basically. It's uh -huh. a, um, you can see what starts off with a moon in the top left corner, and four animals, all of those being the ones that are described uh, on the ground below. Like a puzzle. Sorry, say that one more time. So, it's a, the moon in the top left on this one scene, all right? Like, okay. you know, a little kid draws the sun in the corner. Okay. And and then there's all the animals that are depicted on all of the coffins on, like, on the ground, basically. They're on the ground or they're on the walls? They're on, they're on the ground, like, on the drawing. Like, does that make sense or am I... 
Hold on. Uh, no, I mean, it makes sense. Hold on. I don't uh, exactly understand. So it makes sense. on the wall, there's <laughs> on the wall. Things. Yes, and then and they're like in the scenes. It's like a comic book. Yeah. So, so 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 real quick. So is it one scene above every coffin? No, it's one it's scene. One it's scene it's, it's 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 it scenes. So yeah, so it's one scene left to right, all the way around the room. One scene left to right, all around the room. So we see there's one fi- big there's, scene that involves. There's five the scenes. There's no. There's, so there's one scene. So one scene behind each coffin. Right. They like left to right. Yep. Well, you can't tell whether it's left to right or right to left, but right. That's how you would normally read things. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So it's a moon. The first scene above the coffin with the moon. Is the moon in the top left corner, mm-hmm. and all, all the animals that were decrepit on the other coffins, like on the ground? Okay, they're on the ground. Oh, in, like, the, in uh, the picture, they're on the ground. In the yeah, picture, exactly. yeah. The second scene, the moon is no longer present, and the animals are divided. They're like no longer next to each other. Okay, are they equidistant, or are they like grouped up, or anything? Uh, they're so like they're like they're all separate, like all four, like on their own. Okay. They're just separated from each other. The third scene, the moon appears directly in the center, and there's four pillars marked on like in like separate corners from each other. Okay. On the fourth one, on the fourth, so the fourth uh, scene. It's kind of damaged a bit, and all you can make out is, like, the moon, and it's really cracked, like, down the middle. You don't know if that was by design, or if that's just the the age of it showing. Okay. And all four pillars have a beam that kind of draw out to this one central spot. Okay. Is that underneath the moon? Yes, underneath the moon. Okay. Well... And then the fifth scene is absolutely just covered in smudge and, like, all destroyed. Um, okay. so it's just all broken up and like pieces of it are all on the ground and everything. Hmm. Okay. All right. That's it. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that was... And PP, um, yeah. P- uh, PP, um, when you're looking, uh, I don't know if you're looking around or if you're just letting them do all the research for you. Um, but with, with the first coffin, you see a, uh, you, you kind of resonate with that moon symbol a little bit. You feel like you've seen it before. Hmm. Um, Let me do an arcana check on the moon golf. Right back. Wait, you think you've seen it before? I think I've seen this one here before. Okay. Is there anything else on? Oh, that's 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 all. Oh, higher glyphs. Like, okay, so. PB thinks he's seen it before, and now we know what the scenes say. You've seen the moon before. Okay, so PP, you're doing an arcana check? Arcana mm-hmm. check. Ooh, yep. Nat 20. Oh, Nat shit. 20. Jared, you immediately recognize that symbol is what's also etched into the side of the staff that you found in Flint. Look, this is. I got this on my staff. Hmm. Okay. So, wait, where'd you find this again? In Flint. You found this staff in Flint. Yeah, we opened up a symbol. I'm back. Like the one on the map that we have marked. Oh. Okay. Was there a symbol on the other pillar? The one that we were, like, next to? The one that we were at earlier, like, two sessions ago? Was there a symbol on that pillar? I don't think we know. Well, we don't know. Cause it, it was just there was just a bunch of language that you couldn't read. Oh, there was a language you couldn't read. Okay. So, we found a pillar that had... That staff in Flint, we found the pillar that had that staff, and it has the moon symbol, the same moon symbol. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you're the one with the staff. You want to do something? Yeah. What do we do, smart guy? (laughs) I've always said, blow up the moon. (laughs) (laughs) Mom always said. I was I was going a different way from that, but like, if you're the smart guy here, you know. I mean, I agree. (laughs) Maybe the moon's got a staff in it, too, if we blow it up. I'm back, by the way. The way I interpreted it was, like, the animals, like, worship the moon, and then the moon disappeared, and they all got in a conflict because the moon disappeared. And then it came back, and they were like, whoa, badass. And then... Hold on. First picture, moon and four animals. Second picture, moon's gone, with all four animals separated. 
Yeah. The third picture was the moon with three pillars, with four pillars, right? That was the third yep. picture. And yep. What was the fourth picture? The moon was cracked. The moon was cracked, and there was four beams come. See. There's four, four like beams. lines from each pillar. Stride's castle, dude. So in the third picture, there was no, there were no beams. No. Okay. Okay, and then the fifth picture is some, not something we can see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. I think people need right. to do something with this stuff. I like the moon. I don't want to hurt it. Okay. <laughs> More I think uh, the moon is the only thing that's uh, like constant between all the pictures. So do with that information. What you want. Well, it's not in the second one. Right. Oh yeah, true. It's not in the second one. But I mean, we have the moon staff. It's the same exact symbol. Oh no, tap the fucking moon staff on the moon yeah, coffin. Yeah, touch, it to, touch it to the coffin or something. Okay. I knock on it like I'm an old man. With my cane. When, when you touch the uh, the coffin with the staff, it immediately bursts open. The top of the coffin flies, smacks the ceiling, and breaks ah! into multiple pieces. All three of you make a deck save. No, with disadvantage. I passed. I don't have disadvantage. <laughs> you passed gas, maybe. A kidney I, I actually just did. That's fun. You predicted that. <laughs> Anthony, mind reader. Seven. Hello. Bro. I got, I got an 11. <sighs> Finally cool. secured the crown peach. It's pretty all right. Oh, yeah. I haven't had crown peach in a while. I can't really drink crown oil anymore. Especially the flavored ones. Too syrupy. Uh, you remember to add your deck? I, I just like whiskey a lot, big time. Oh, no. I didn't add my decks. That's right. My dex is plus four, so actually I got an eleven. All right, and Jared, what did you get? Seven. All is right, Jared. Oh, seven, eleven, Devin. You gotta give him a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, take four uh, piercing damage as you get hit by splinters from the wood shattering. Afterwards. Oh, after the after the you guys probably immediately look away to try and protect yourselves. Um, you guys can peer into the coffin and you can see a um, you can see like the remains of somebody. I crawl up next to him. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> like. uh, um, they do seem to be wearing really fancy clothes, and I take his clothes. I'm shoving you. I'm literally shoving you out of the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> really, really fancy clothes. Is this really Shroud's really castle? castle? I want this wizard clothes. It's gonna be sick. I'm gonna yeah, get the wizard's wizard. clothes. Let us let's let us look at what's inside first. Calm down. <laughs> I want a hug. Also, I thought he needed one too. Yeah, what are the <laughs> odds this guy's two like foot it. tall? <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be me and like they got tailors. We got tailors. Yeah. Is this Strahd's castle, or did you make this? This I made this. This is this okay. is me. I was. I, sure. I've never played Strahd's castles. Before. I've never played Strahd's castle, so I don't know anything I never got about to it. Explore the whole castle, so I wasn't sure if we we're in like the catacombs or some shit, and you repurposed it. I wasn't sure. But um, so it has he has on pretty fancy clothes. It seems like from like a different time period, as you've never I seen mean, anybody wearing like... anything like this. <laughs> um, he's also holding something in his hand. Uh, it looks like a um it looks like it would fit around your staff actually pp but it's kind of like a like a talk ring uh, <laughs> okay let me uh inspect it uh, what kind of what do you mean around my staff it looks like it would like cuz your staff so it's like a big pole and then there's a big circular uh top at the yeah. top it looks like it would kind of perfectly fit on the round part Okay, let's let's see if it fits then. As soon and, as uh, put it in a, try to put it near the staff. As soon as you wrap it on a staff, the top of your staff now glows red, and it doesn't it's seem red. to fade. Uh, it's kind of like you have like a big. Red is the key. Yeah, it's kind of like a big glowing ruby. Okay. Um, it does, and it does feel like your staff has become more powerful. I think I got uh, an upgrade. You... And that's all that's I... really inside of it, besides the remains, of course. We gotta get his clothes. We gotta pack them up and take them somewhere. See if we can get him uh, 
Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. Wait, I'm sorry. So your stats started glowing, and that's it? It got red ruby glow, like the key. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, like the key. Okay. All right, yeah, we can uh, pack uh, fucking... Pack up these clothes. I guess you can put them in your bag, PP, for now. Is that it? So just clothes and then the cock ring? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna jump to Jesse and Matt since they haven't got to do anything yet. Oh, I gotta take my dog out. Fuck okay, perfect timing. I gotta take a vampire out. <laughs> All right, so we left off with you guys with I want to think it was Matt hanging above the door, yep. uh -huh. and Jesse was hiding. I can't remember. I wasn't hiding. I canceled that, and so I was preparing an attack. Gotcha. Were you guys in, like the police room, like the double sided room. mirror. No. No, we Dude, left There was that. a floating eyeball, and I fucking Oh, yeah, it. it was in the corner. It was, like, looking at you. Yeah, I figured, like, okay, if we covered it, it's going to alert them. There's no way to sneak around this eyeball. I'm just going to kill it. All right. Before um sees anything. So you guys all took, uh, took hide, because after you guys destroyed the eyeball, you heard a lot of movement, and it sounded like it was coming closer. The girl that was in the room with you guys is now shaking in fear. I had an arm to swing around as an improvised club. You said what? Remember, I gave her a limb to swing around. As oh an yeah, club. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I uh, give her a dart. And you can hear the footsteps getting really close. Um, as they get closer and closer, you can kind of make out that this is like kind of like a large group of people. Cool. I'll stab them all. <laughs> and you hear them sounds like they're like just outside the door and suddenly you hear a knock on the door and they hey, ask Logan, you can come in and, and they ask may we come in I ain't saying a damn word what about you Barty boy staying above the door <laughs> ain't saying a damn word the girl looks over to both of you I look at her and I hold my <laughs> finger over my mouth like a shh motion uh she says no i'm indecent please don't come in and you hear them say hurry up and get ready then <laughs> it's gonna be a while and she just looks back at both of you guys and she asks she, she just kind of shrugs her like hands like what am i supposed to do I, I can't do it. I can't do anything. I'm fucking. <laughs> my arms and hands are occupied. I ain't talking. Give her the snake tongue. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just look at her and be like, "We got this." I, I'm gonna mouth it. I'm not gonna say it. I'll be like, and I'm gonna be like, wah, wah. like do a little like punch punch. I'm, okay. I got this shit. And then she's gonna she's, get me killed. She, she's gonna. Like, Get up, and she's gonna go over to her like armoire, her like big uh, closet, and she's gonna climb inside of it herself and shut the doors. And she's gonna, it has like cuts, like the uh, slats through it that she can see through. And she's gonna say, she's gonna say, "Come in," and the door bursts open. Jesse, you are me. You see. Immediately, right then, you see three rather pale humanoids. Three rather all, about to be dead humanoids. And they're all holding weapons of different kinds. And they seem to be rather, they seem to be quite, quite well armored. Fine by me. And, um, they. The first one walks in slowly, kind of menacingly, kind of does a JoJo's walk towards you. Okay. <laughs> and that's when, uh, Matt, you can suddenly see this guy walking beneath you. All right, I'm holding my position. I hold up three fingers, but I don't look at Matt. I hold up three fingers. He sees and, me hold up three fingers. And, um... The, the guy walking in, he kind of puts his weapon down at ease, but he still has it readily in his hand. And he says, where is she? I ate her. And you see he immediately gets angry. And he draws his sword 
and prepares to swipe slash at you. I already prepared to attack, so I attacked first. Motherfucker. Alright, roll to attack. Oh, it's the fucking crit. Did crit? Alright. Yeah. And hang on one second, I gotta get the sheet open because I was not ready for combat like this. <laughs> hey, he fucking drew a sword. Alright. So you crit, uh, roll damage first. It's gonna be four, uh. It's gonna be ten. So, initiative's going to be Jesse. Sorry, hold on. Let me actually add that correctly. That's going to be nine. I'm going straight for the heart, if I can, with the sharp end. Um, You just have a wooden stake, or correct? Oh, um, well, it's you, my you, staff that I'm proficient oh, staff. in, and it's sharpened on one end, and I crit, so it's um, up to you what you think I do with it. Yeah, it's they're wearing plate armor, so I don't know if that would really penetrate necessarily. Up to you, man. Yeah, I, uh, I'll let you deal. Uh, you can land, like, a second attack, I'll, I'll let you do. Oh, a second attack? Yeah, just because you crit. Um... Because it's takes land th one, so I just roll damage again. Yeah, I just roll the same damage you already okay. rolled. And what damage? How much did you do again? I just did nine piercing. Nine, awesome. okay. And that would be it. Would be it'd be half, by the way, since you're doing piercing because it's plate armor. Um, yeah. Well, then, I'm, um. So not half I'm of not nine change. would be. I'm just gonna stab him twice. That's eleven. Half right of nine there. would be five. So. Is it 11 total? No, Wait, 11 no, for no. the second, 9 for the first. So 20, so okay, so... Them. Okay, okay. So, so it would be so. 11 total. Two, two, two. So that would be... So you did 20 total, so half of that would be 10. Alright. And then he is going to still let out his attack. Good. Nice try. Jesus Christ, what rolling. And that is a plus five, so 19. Yeah, 19 misses. 19 misses? Okay. I have 20, even. Wait. I think. Let me recheck. How do you get 20? Oh, because you're like, yeah, like some kind of armor from a monk. I might be. Let me, let me. I'm going to do quick calculation. I he actually does that. Uh, I thought I did this right. Um, Where's my unarmored defense? There it is. 10 plus dex plus wisdom. So I have 10 plus 5 plus 3. So, okay, never mind. I have 18. I don't know why I had 20. I said 19. Okay, so 19 or, hits. No, uh, yeah, yeah. That would be... Do, 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 10 damage yourself. Fine by me. And then after he makes it in... You see the other two start to kind of fit through the door themselves. And they are all now in the room. Alright. Uh, can I make an attack of opportunity? It would just be a stealth attack. Oh, so uh, it's a, a attack with advantage? Would it be yeah. a flank? Yeah, it'd be a flank. Um. So how how does that work? Is so you'd have, bench, yeah. So you have double. You should you have you get the roll three times, take the highest, because you have double advantage from stealth and from it being. One. 
throw it straight into a wall. <laughs> Trying to clear the fucking dice tower. Pringles. Don't fail me now, Pringles. Got the old logo. We know it. 14. 14. Alright, uh, so for, it would be a 18. 18? Uh, 18 yeah. hits. Um, okay, so I'm going to fucking. Sorry, my fucking move list. There's like three of them. Uh, I'm gonna do a flying clothesline, so that's a uh, 2d6 and knocks him prone. So which one are you hitting? The one on the left or the right, or the one in front of Jesse? And I stick both my arms out and hit him prone. Uh, I'll hit the one on the right, I guess. Alright. So that is 9 plus 4, 13 damage, and he's prone. Um, and then I'm going to use my second attack to grapple the one that I didn't hit. Alright, roll to attack. Yeah, so many dice over here. <laughs> uh, that would be a 13. That does not hit. Okay, uh. Then I'll use my bonus action to stamp the one that I did land a maneuver on. Um, yeah, so roll the attack for that. Uh, yeah. Attacking a prone guy. So roll with advantage. Yeah. Uh, 16. That does not hit. Okay. Yeah, we're dead, Jesse, by the way. <laughs> Oh well. No. -uh. <laughs> They're just gonna heal. Um, so that's the end of your turn? Uh, yeah, I guess that's to be. Alright, Jesse, it's your turn. Let's -a go, motherfucker. Alright, so. Let me see. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if I can make an attempt to break his armor or rip it off, rather. I was going to try to do, yeah. Um, hmm. I don't really know if that's going to be something I can swing. I don't have a blade to try to cut his head off. Um, chum, 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 chum. Oh, um, Matt, when you fell on the guy, um, yeah. you see on his back a logo that you've seen before. Uh, uh it's like kind of like dead center in the back of his chest plate. And you recognize this from the guys you've seen on the bridge and back in Flint. Okay. Gotcha. Mm. Trying to think what I can do without wasting key points and just not doing much of anything. Let me see. I wonder should I attempt to grapple this one I don't know man I'm stumped
can't make a run for it. Or wait, I guess we could, but we waste the fucking time. Yeah, I think we just try to fight. Just blow everything. Fuck it. I'll attack the one I already had attacked. With my staff. When? when? You hear Warden? Yeah. As you when? go to... S oh. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. As you, uh... Go to land your attack. He catches it in his hand. And then he jabs at you with his sword. That definitely does not hit. <laughs> I say, nice try. <laughs> but currently, he, he has your weapon in his hand still, though. Okay, well, I use my extra attack to grab it and push it further into him. I'm level 5, so I have another attack. Okay. Mackenzie says uh, she can only see the intermission screen and can't see the board, oh. Devin. Yeah, I mean, they're not seeing the screen at all anyways. They're just rolling dice at this point. Yeah, that's what I did. I didn't know plus, they, they don't have... That didn't, yeah. that didn't hit him. Um, however... Looks like it actually changed the screen. Good. Sure... Let me make sure of something real fast before I continue on. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stomp him with my unarmed attacks. I'm going to spend a key point to use Fury of Blows and stomp his head in. He's not on the ground. Oh, not well. Kick his head in. I'll just I'll do like a roundhouse. Okay, I was like, stomp his head in. Yeah, I, he jumps <laughs> really high. <laughs> <laughs> runs on his head. Hits him with a snake <laughs> down there. You saw how much? That's a eighteen. Eighteen hits. Okay. I just forget if I'm proficient with unarmed strikes. I don't think I am. I'm gonna do it again. I'll roll the damage after. Ah, oh, it was almost a crit. That's a <laughs> 13, I think. That does not hit. Okay. Now I get one more attack. And I'm gonna kick one more time. I've done like three spins in one fucking turn. Yeah, that's uh, 14, I think. That does not hit. Okay, See, land, land. Unarm strike off. All right. Bludgeon. To the head. That's a nine. Nine. All right, and is that the end of your turn? Um, he has also still not let go of your staff. Oh, um, even after getting kicked in the head, he's <laughs> yeah, he um, is <laughs> he is not letting go for some reason. Fine by me. I can fight with my fucking fists. I don't need that thing. Um. All right. Well, that's the end of my turn. Alright, it's now the one that you just kicked in the face's turn. And he is going to take an attack at your staff with his sword. He's going to try to break the staff? Yes. Well, good thing I'm a monk. I can literally tape it back together and use it. And uh, do, do, I don't know what the staff would be, uh, but it's plus five. Uh, hold a two? I don't know how to handle this. How do you attack something you're holding, I guess? Does he have he advantage? There's a construct. I don't know how much HP the fucking staff would have. I would imagine it'd be like the same as like a 
the, like a branch or something, like a really strong branch, I guess. I don't, but there's not an HP for that. Um, um yeah. how do you handle that? <laughs> I don't know how much HP it has, so how many... I'm just Googling and seeing what other people might have done. A typical, a typical staff is like a walking stick, quarter staff, or cudgel. It has an AC 7, 10 hit points, hardness 5. I don't know what hardness means. Um, a break DC of 24. I don't know if this is 5e or not. I have the weapon it, size is likely the, what decides this. This is for tiny objects, fragile. Have wait for uh, fragile, three fragile, tiny fragile objects have two one d four HP or two or one d four HP, whereas Brazilian objects have five two or two d four HP. For small objects, fragile ones have three d one six. HP, whereas resilient ones have 10 or 3d6. A staff would be a what? Not tiny. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't have anything about medium or large. Well, we can use the 3.5 rules I found and say it has a DC of 24 to break, but That'd be a strength say, check. Strength check. Um, we'll do this. He'll hit it, but he won't break it. He's gonna chip it a little bit because he had a seven, and you said seven for that, right? For what you read? I read AC of seven, ten. AC HP, of seven. Hardness. Hardness isn't a thing in five E, so that's why it's a little weird. And a break DC of twenty four. All right, so it rolled seven to hit, so that's AC to hit, because two plus five is seven, yeah. And then it's attack dice, where it's attack for that is, if I can find the page, is yeah, five, five plus, or no, it's ten. So ten damage to the staff. Um, he takes a pretty significant chunk off of it, but it still seems to be usable. And then he's going to then make a backward slash, uh, with his sword the other way towards you for a second attack. Um, I'm going to use my reaction to use interference. <laughs> and, and he rolls a two, two again. again. Two again. <laughs> so that does not hit. So he hits your staff, but doesn't hit you. Yeah. And what were you saying, Matt? Never mind. My mic's being fucky. Give me a sec. Alright. Up next is the two others that walked in. And the one that Matt tried to grapple, but did not succeed in, he is going to try and attack you. He tries to make two melee attacks at you with a sword. Oops. 20, that right, probably that hits. Hit. 16. Does not hit. Right. Take 10 slashing damage. Okay. And then the one that, that is prone afterwards is going to stand up and it is also going to make two attacks at you man okay that hits why don't we just shove them out of the room and close the door they have to be invited back in and <laughs> that hits um, um i'm gonna use my reaction to make one of those a re-roll and uh Roll a strike on him. So I have to roll again, or for one of them, yeah. Unless, uh, let me let me read if it punch an attacking opponent, causing damage and forcing the target to re-roll the attack with the disadvantage. So just one of them. Let 
that misses. So take another 10 damage from the first hit. Alright, and uh, he takes 1d6, because I got a 20, so that would be 9 damage. 9 damage. Alright, and then Matt, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, I guess I will start with a grapple attempt on the weakened one. Okay. Uh, I miss. So I'm going to use my second attack to try to grapple again. And I miss again. <laughs> uh... The easiest things that you fought. The, the things that you can fight. <laughs> You're struggling with. Yeah. <laughs> well. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold, hold on. Uh, are, well, grapples are attacks, not strength checks, Ornate right? Or, yeah, breaking the grapples to strength check. Um, yeah, so that's the end of my turn. All right. And we are back to Jesse. Your staff is still being held by the guy in front of you, and you just seen him take a chip out of it. And you remember that that is a gift from your mother, correct? Yes. <laughs> Uh, Devin, sorry, how much damage did I take? You took 20 I... in total that turn. 20 in total. Uh, 20 now. So what um, do you do, Jesse? Were they holding their hand... Or sorry, were they holding their, their sword with two hands when they initially started the battle? No, they're like uh, one-handed. They're one-handed short swords? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm about to say, like, if he has less damage, I'd feel more inclined. Um, hmm, hmm. Hmm. While both of his hands are occupied, I don't know how to do this, though. I'd like to attempt to tear his armor off in a rage, but... I don't know how that's best done. Ripping a guy naked. <laughs> um. Uh. I could just beat him up more, but I need to break his crab shell. Um. I don't really have much to attempt to cut his head off, but I can make my unarmed strikes deal slashing. Um, I do have that option, but I don't really know how a head being cut off would really fucking work. Without yeah, you have to like you have to like max damage, speed. like not max damage, but like enough damage to kill him, basically. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I will. I will deal I'll, for the first time ever. I will use my nightmare shroud attack. Um, this requires. Let me just make sure I, I want to do it right because I haven't used it yet. Load, load, load. Okay, so. When you damage a creature with your manifest blow, excess psionic energy ripples up to three different creatures of your choice. Oh no, that's at seventeenth level. Jesus Christ. Um. Uh, okay. So I'm going to make an unarmed strike at his face with my fist. Let's see if it hits. That one does not hit. But I can spend a key point 
for Fury of Blows, so I'll strike twice more. So, what is that? Oh, it didn't even hit a fucking number. Fuck it. Alright, that hits. That's like 20. So yep. there's one. Uh, 11 plus 5, 16. That does not. Does that hit? Nope. All right, so with that, let me see. With Nightmare Shroud, when I hit a creature with an arm attack, I can spend another key point to assail a feast with fear, causing it to make a wisdom save throw. On a failed save, it takes a d6 psychic damage, becomes frightened of you. Um, um, let me, let me see it's going to be... This, this uh, enemy has the brave feature, so he has advantage on saving throws against being frightened. So okay, that's fine by me. So that just means uh, it'll just be a normal roll. Okay. Um, so he has to beat a 14 wisdom save. Go ahead and have him roll. Uh oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He crit failed, but he has advantage. Oh, yeah. Uh. Is it wisdom you said? Wisdom. That's 16. Oh, he, he beats it. Oh, wait, no. Oh, uh, no, it's 14, my bad. It meets it. 14, but oh, I mean, it still, still beats, beats it. it. Yeah. If, uh, okay, so. Um. Well, he's immune to being feared for the next day now, but yeah, that doesn't mean anything else. I still deal damage though, so not psychic damage, but damage. Um, not d6. This one here. I think it's the first time you've used that ability. It is. <laughs> um. Seven, bludgeon. Seven. Is it seven? Yeah, seven bludgeon. And uh, I think I just get math one. Oh, It's leaving me right now. Attack, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I, I just attacked twice, right? Yeah. Or I tried to. Okay, I get one more. What did you say? That land on a number. It landed on two. Okay, so. I said math, not math. Uh oh. oh. Yeah, I said math is leaving me. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, the first time I used Nightmare Shroud. I was hoping it would hit, but it didn't. I can use it again, but I'm running out of key points, so. <laughs> At the end of your turn, then? Um, Yeah, that's it, really. Alright, he is going to, again, use both of his attacks. One to hit your staff and one to hit you. Go ahead and break it. I say. See what happens. So seven was what we decided on. Um, and that's the, what this page says. Yeah. Like seven AC or whatever. You get seven. one reaction per turn. Um, as long as you have reaction ability. As long as yeah. you have reaction abilities. Have the ability to make the reaction is yeah, I'll use uh, interference to roll a strike on him. And make him reroll the first attack roll. And then it basically acts as a taunt, so he'll hit me with his next attack. Right, so he has to roll this one again. So this is on the staff. I wish we just had a firebomb. <laughs> and uh, I, he crit me the what? Or wait. That's on he the staff. 20? Yeah, so he's rolled a 20. To hit, he made him reroll the attack on those. Uh, reroll the attack with disadvantage. Okay, so he still takes a 10, but... <laughs> he still takes a 10, and I crit but... him with my okay. my attack. <laughs> okay, Wait, so... Wait, he re-rolls the attack with disadvantage? Yes. Okay, so the first roll still counts in that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, he hits your staff, uh, staff takes 10 damage, and he takes... It kind of splits it, like, right in half this time. 
and I'm your ready. staff is has half as long as it normally was, and then he makes his second attack at Matt since he pissed him off. And he crit as well. <laughs> so, both of you, uh, I'll roll his damage this time since damage explodes. Uh... Uh. Matt, take nine slashing damage. You roll two dice for that? Yeah, two d6. Oh. Um. Yeah, okay, nine damage. And then how much damage did you do to him since you attacked him as well? Uh. Devin. Oh. Bother. He dead? Did I kill him? Oh, you didn't. I didn't hear anything you just said. Oh, I said seven. Oh, seven. Okay. That does not kill him, though. How saggy is he looking? He's looking kind of beat up, but he seems to be holding in pretty well. And then up next is the one that, that neither of you have hit yet. That one that was to the left for you, Matt. And he is going to make two attacks to hit you. I'll clear these. That's 15. Wait, Matt, don't you have garlic? Doesn't hit. No. Wait, let me get it. I don't know why I thought you had garlic. And that's 11, that is not, yeah. And then the third one's turn, and he's going to make both of his attacks at you as well. Back. One, so you'll get to, to attack him on that one, and then... God, now you guys want to roll like dog shit! That doesn't hit either, so you get a reaction to hit him. Uh, one's number three, the one you dropped on. Okay, uh... I guess I'll just make an unarmed strike because I don't really have any stationary abilities. Uh, yeah, roll the hit. Uh, yeah, let me use the dice tower. Let me use a not polluted dice tower. Uh, Eleven. Does not hit. I am meta gaming. <laughs> I'm just gonna make uh, the most undead, vulnerable or undead killing. Paladin possible. <laughs> Stroll up in here and just touch one in the forehead and his head explodes. <laughs> okay. uh, um, is it my turn now? Uh, Yes, it's your turn. Yeah. I have to uh, piss like a racehorse. Uh, Hold, on. Like, Hold the saggy one. Uh, I missed, one? of course. I'll roll my second grapple. Uh, 18, does that hit? Yes, that hits. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick him up and I'm going to use my do 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 He's a phantom. Uh, what the fuck? Where is it? It's body slam. Uh, so I'm going to this is work. I don't I don't see how this move could miss. Uh, sorry, let me General maneuver, damn it. What? I guess I'm just gonna roll to hit. I'm gonna throw him onto the other guy, and if I succeed, they both take 2d6 and have to beat a DC 13 or be knocked prone. Is it like a deck save, or is it just. Uh, con save. For the one being thrown at? Both of them. Oh, okay. So con save for both, you said? Yeah, if it hit. Or, I don't know how it works, because the guy's grappled and I'm throwing him. I don't know how you miss a throw on somebody. But oh, you, you, you gotta roll a hit, and then I roll the con save if you hit. Or... Give me one second to try to... Yeah, I guess, I guess just roll a hit then. I mean, that's how I've been doing it for... Okay. So far, but I didn't really bother reading. 
Uh, Walder. 17? That does not hit. Walder. So you don't throw him then? Um. Sorry, do you have proficiency to attack rolls? I'm. If you're proficient with a weapon. Uh, would it be considered a unarmed strike, I guess? Yeah, I would assume. <laughs> oh no, your class is weird. Does it say you have proficiency with your moves or not? <laughs> not really, it's very vague. Uh, I am proficient with unarmed strikes and improvised weapons. Um, uh, wait, okay, hold on. Um, it's not really a, a strike as much as it is just throwing something. Okay, they got it here. So, no, wait, that's damage. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't say. Uh, all right, seventeen. I miss. I guess I don't. I don't know what that means for the guy in my grapple. He just grappled. Okay. That's the one that Jesse's been hitting, correct? No, it's the one that I've been hitting. Okay. Alright. And then it's Jesse's turn, but he is at the bathroom. Uh, uh, I, I could, guess... I could, I could play his turn for him. <laughs> who is that? Oh, that's Brian. What's up? I was trying to figure who said that. <laughs> Didn't realize we had all these people in the call. Yeah, I'm just lurking. I guess we could jump to the other party for the time being, since I don't, I don't know how long Jesse's going to be in the bathroom for. Plus, it's been 30 minutes. I can kind of give you guys like 30 minutes apart, I guess. <laughs> don't give uh, us a 30 minute part, because they're in combat. But you know. <laughs> uh, Yeah, so if, I guess we can try and do you guys real quick. I don't know how fast he's going to be. <laughs> Um, so you guys just found the cock ring, basically, and the... No, we're not going to and... the cock ring. Dick and balls <laughs> ring. I can't remember you guys play him. I'm thinking it's a cock ring. I think it's a uh, dick and balls ring. You guys get uh, back to the top of your... Uh, or I don't know, you guys never said you guys were leaving or anything. Uh, no, so you guys are still I'm down sure. in the... You guys are still down in the there. mausoleum. Ah, oh, hello. My bad. Hello. No. Hello. You didn't miss anything. In the mausoleum. Yeah, I was just... Yeah, are and we, uh... You see guys just... What are you doing? Are we fucking with the rest of these, or are we getting the fuck out of here? Uh... Let's well, see what happens if he taps boxes. the... What happened? Loot boxes. They're kind of like loot boxes. They're kind of like loot boxes. What's the diagram um, say about the fucking moon? Now we got the moon. What do we do with the moon? We got the moon. The moon controls the other four animals or whatever the fuck. But I don't... Honestly, like, I doubt... We probably need more shit, but you might as well go touch your moon staff to like the next. What's the next one? The whale? No, the hawk. I'm go touch the, the hawk. See what happens. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing happens when you touch this one. What's it? That's what I figured. I don't imagine that no matter any amount of brute force we use, we're going to be able to open any of the others without uh, the specific item we need to open them. Considering that's how it works. For the moon, so. We haven't really tried, to be fair. That's true. Do you want to give it a shot? I mean, nothing seemed no. to happen except it what opened up. What if what? What if a whale comes whale out? Comes out? <laughs> somehow, somehow, I doubt a whale is going to come might have out. water, so maybe Also, it's a hawk. The next one's a Yeah, honestly, if a whale comes out. I'm touching like, the whale like, one. Let's get this okay, whale Okay, we're skipping over the hawk and we're touching the whale. Okay, Fear, you want to try to open it or what? Yeah, I'll take a while. I got it. All right. Try to pry that bitch open. Uh, you're gonna die. You all strength. Do you have like a yeah, crowbar okay. or anything? Or you hold on. I actually might. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I have a pond. <laughs> what I was thinking of. Actually, I have a shovel. That's kind of like a crowbar. Oh, that's close. Well, you could shove it under there in the gap and try to pry it open. That's not a bad lever arm. All right. Uh, that, oh, you can use that. Uh, oh, just right. now. I yeah, use that as like a crowbar type of man. <laughs> let's let's roll strength. Barbarian rogue multi class. <laughs> uh, strength is plus four, so seventeen. That would be terrible. Seventeen. 
You actually managed to pry this one open with ease. Fucking and God, it. when it opens up, there's just a huge hole. Like there's like a like a like a pathway that drops down. What? This is the hawk or the, no, the whale? This, this is, is the whale. whale. What do you mean by a huge hole? Like is there stairs? Is there a rope? Or is it just a hole? It's like a hole. It looks like something like burrowed underneath through this. Bag of skittles in it, maybe. Um, How deep is the hole? It's pitch black. You can't really tell. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna grab one of the torches off the wall. I'll grab the one that's above the whale uh, coffin. Assuming there's one above each coffin, I don't actually know. I'll just grab one, um, and I'm gonna try to drop it down the hole. See what happens. All right. Oh, uh, do we see? When you drop it all the way down. All of a sudden, the flame just extinguishes. How far down? About did it look? It like fell about for like about like if, probably about like five seconds, and then extinguished. Yep. Yeah, not fucking worth it. Yeah, uh, I don't think we should fuck with that. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, fuck the can well. We, can we put the you uh, think the thing you think, back on? You think all of the fucking? I mean, does it look like a burrow or does it look like a man-made like structure? That it was like meant to be there. Mine. Really hard to tell, uh, as it seems like it's only like wide enough for you to go down, kind of like a like a water park slide where you have your arms at your sides. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I get so you. does it look like, as in like, are there like jagged walls that we can see that kind of fade down, or is it like some? It's uh, like all like all dirt, like past the concrete that's underneath the coffin. It's just that? dirt. Is okay. it like poured out intentionally, or does it look like a? Like an animal, like a big ass fucking groundhog did it. Big fucking <laughs> groundhog, <laughs> groundhog did it. Groundhog dead right now or what? Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty fucking egg egg or whatever that giant bug I made you guys fight was. <laughs> um, right, it doesn't. It, it seems like it was intentional for whatever was making this hole, but can't tell. Wait, yeah. yeah. I, okay. Well, fuck that. That's way too fucking deep. That's way too deep. I mean, uh, we could just brute. For I honestly kind of doubt we're ever coming back here. So, like, we could try to brute force the others open, maybe. Yeah, I mean, we're we're heading the fuck out of here. Yeah, we're. I mean, once we get out of here, we're going across the fucking continent. So, like, who cares? <laughs> That's fair. I'll, I'll do the same thing to. Uh, let's do it to the wolf because right. I'm I'm kind of like a wolf in spirit. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> No, like, I, you, I actually I am that. Actually, that's like I'm my spirit it. animal. That's I like actually my believe spirit it, animal. I'm saying to you that I that that's so true. Yeah, it's my spirit totem fucking meme thing. I'm gonna do the same thing to the wolf one. Shove the All shovel right. under it and pry it open. When you uh, go to wedge it in, uh, you're rejected by what seems like another one of those magical auras that hey, you've been seeing. Huh? Skirt, skirt. There's magic oh, over here. Cup of magic, bro. What's going on here? I don't know. Smell it. it. I don't know. Take a look it. at it. You're the magic guy. You tell us. Yeah. I'm gonna get its under. I'm gonna go look at its undercarriage. See what's going on in there. It's a coffin. It's in heat. <laughs> it's a skateboard and rolls under it's it. It's in heat. <laughs> well, as you can see from its undercarriage, the grain goes towards the north. So that means it's probably a birch type tree uh, coffin. <laughs> a... Didn't ask. Can you open it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll put my staff on it. It's a birch tree. Fuck this and made a survival check when you wanted to make an arcana check. <laughs> Nothing happens. I don't think it did anything. I don't think its baby's uh, ready to hit the road quite yet. Mm. It's not ripe. It's not ripe. It's not ripe yet. It's Let's try ripe the next yet. one. It's not ripe yet. Let's try the next one. We'll do the hawk, I guess. <laughs> the hawk. Same, like the same result. Hawk. <laughs> yeah, the marble so, hawk. I assume... Well, I guess we'll go one by one. What about the next one? Whatever the fuck. Next is one is the butterfly. Uh, butterfly. butterfly. Yeah, it's the same result. Okay. Is there well, any more? I don't think this. No, that's it. That was five. That was five. So I don't know how the fuck we managed to open the whale one. Well, it seems like whatever was in the whale one got fucking robbed from underneath. Oh, you're. I guess you're right, huh? That's, that's okay. the interpretation that I got at least. I didn't really put that together, but I guess you're right. Go fight the mole man. Yeah, man. Um, I have no interest in fighting the mole man. So like, we got. <laughs> I was gonna say we got what we wanted, but like the water wasn't well, here, like, so like we yeah, should we leave. Yeah, we literally <laughs> did not get what we wanted. 
<laughs> so we got what we came here for, but like literally no the fuck we didn't. So yeah. like let's leave. <laughs> You're smoking balls if you think we got what we came here for. <laughs> All right, we'll jump back to the combat boys real quick. Uh, you guys are going to leave, right? I'll let you guys get to, like, the top of the staircase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're leaving, All right. yeah. All right, Jesse, it was your turn. Um, oh. Well. Your staff is broken in half. And... The guy turned around to smack Matt because he pissed him off. Would it be a flanking strike then if he's turning around to face me? Yeah. Well. You got the Tomfas now. They're like colleague sticks. If I crit, I'm sticking this shit right through his neck and I'm ripping his head off. I'm going to sharpen my... <laughs> My fingers. I'm gonna punch him in the back of the neck, or jab, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's not a. You know, worry. That's not a. That's a like 15 or fucking hell. That is a 12, so that misses. But I get two attacks. Stupid dice. <laughs> um, that's an eighteen. That hits. Yep. And I get a bonus action, so I'm try to hit again. But I get a advantage. You said it was flanking. Yeah. Oh, so I get advantage on both attacks. Yeah, I thought that's what you were okay. doing. All, all three attacks, actually. So. There's my first third attack. I'll try to get advantage on the first attack. I already hit with one of them. There it goes. Nineteen hit. Yeah. So I hit with the first. I hit with the second already, but I'm gonna roll to see if I crit. I crit. Okay. <laughs> Jesse is now uh, legally allowed to rip his head off. <laughs> um, third attack. If I crit, I'm going to turn this dude to pace. Okay, it's not a crit, but I. That is a fifteen. Um. I assume that doesn't hit. No. 15. Okay. Well, I hit him once. I crit the second time. Uh, it's up to you. Am I going to? Exploding dice is your damage. The and then lift his head off his shoulders. Um, see how much damage you do first. Sure. I do D8s for an arm strikes because I'm an animal. That's a, um, 11 for the first attack. Okay. And a 7 for the second attack. This would be considered piercing. Did any of those explode by any chance or no? I didn't hit an eight, so no. He is still holding on, at, even though you furiously rip away at his head. Okay. Was that the end of your turn? Um. Sure. Feels like crit fails are like rewarded more than a crit would be but it's okay I'm not too concerned with that he's going to die and then after him is the one that Jesse just fucking laid into who is still mad at Matt it's only for one turn oh so for one turn okay yeah so, it's his next attack okay so then uh, he is going to turn around at you Jesse and he is going to try and hit you twice with a sword. Debating in my mind about ass checking him again. <laughs> that one hits, right? Second one hits, first one doesn't. Unless he yeah. has like plus fucking 12. <laughs> yeah, so the second one hits. Uh, take 10 damage, 10 slashing. 
And then after him is the one that neither of you have hit yet. The one to Matt's left. And uh, he is going to swing at you, Matt. Alright. That's 19. That hits. That's 23. Alright, this scuba's gotta reroll one of them. I'm gonna spend two more stamina. <laughs> you said what? Oh, he has rolled again? Yeah, he's rolling one of those again. <laughs> and I'm gonna roll my... <laughs> 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, so take 20 damage. Uh, 20 damage? 20 slashing, yep. 10 to hit. I am unconscious. Or actually, no, hold on. Uh, I will expand. Damage? Yeah, I will expand my racial to roll a d12 and subtract that from incoming damage. Alright. Uh, as soon as I find a d12. I mean, I have exactly 20 HP left, so what up? Dude, why is this thing rolling so vigorously? 11. So, 11? Okay, take 9 damage. Uh, 9 damage. Ugh. And oh, then... and, uh, hold on, let me roll my attack on him real quick. Uh, 18. Oh, yep. Plus 4. 18 plus 4, you said? So that's yeah, 22. 22. Alright. I, I, I would hope it's 22 hits. Yep. Oh, oh, you did 22 uh, to hit. I thought that was the damage. Yeah. No, uh, he, he took 10 damage. 10 damage, okay. And then after him is the one that you have grappled. Uh, he's going to attempt to break free. I don't uh, think my he's first breaking roll free. Was a 16. Uh oh. Let's yeah. see if I can crit the strength contest real quick. No. <laughs> Does this vampire look like a 1988 Pontiac Fiero? I'm not even sure if they're vampires. That's true. It could be a fucking automobile. I'm just not aware of. <laughs> well, I'm Devin thinking told he's me looking about more like more. a 1998 Dodge Durango. Those were around in 1998? Yes, sir. I drove one. That was my first car. Those things were so fucking ugly up until like five years ago. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> Dude, those things oh. look like fucking, I don't even know. It looks like the, my underarm fucking skin. The, he's still grappled, Matt. It's your turn. <laughs> and I don't think he's there. I'm here. Sorry, my oh. mic just doesn't pick me up. Um... His mic is All right, uh, I'm going to uh, roll an attempt to use my last stamina point to pile drive this guy. Uh, 16 does not hit. No. If he puts him in the floor, do they have to invite themselves back into the room? Uh, all right. <laughs> um, can I grapple more than one guy at a time? I've never seen that play out. Unless it's, it's deliberately it's says like, I mean, I do. Too. oh, I'm pretty big, so I'm thinking I just put them both in like a headlock, one under each arm. That also requires you to hit. Ah, uh, I mean, if you'll allow me it, I'll attempt it. Do it with disadvantage. Ah, <laughs> uh, because how are you gonna move? If someone's trying to break free your arms. You're gonna try and grab another person. <laughs> I'm a bet man. First roll is an 18. Second roll is a nat 1. Uh, fellas, can I use an inspiration? <laughs> you bet. We have two. Yeah. So you have, okay. you, you have one. You have might one. as well fucking use one. Yeah. Uh, we were never going to use two. Yeah. All right. I, I subtracted one from my list. Er, wait. Yeah. 16. Unless. Wait. Hold on. Uh, I just want to make check if I am for some reason proficient at grappling. 
No. Oh, I do have the grappler feet. You do. You got two of those, actually. Yeah, it's true. Nick's fucking right. Listen to this guy. That's what I'm saying. No. Okay, so I miss. Um. And that'll be my turn. All right. Back Sorry for the just... wasted inspiration, fellas. Hey, it's better than you hitting that one because your ass would have been fucking grass real quick. And up next is Jesse. Who you're con? What the hell? Um. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who you're con? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. I was scrolling through my phone and it just happened to have the volume on. All right. So, what are their positions like at this moment? Uh, Matt has one pinned. Or one in one grappled, one is facing you, and the other one is facing Matt. Might as well roll against the one I have advantage on, right? Fucking grappled guy. Or you could kill the one that you whittled down to nothing. Uh oh, okay. The damaged one, which one is that? The one that's looking at me? Facing you, yeah. He kinda looks at you. Um Yeah, he does. I don't know if I spend key points in this or not. Uh, I can't attack twice, so... I'm gonna look at the guy facing me, he's a little saggy, I'm gonna go for his freaking throat. Well, look at the log at first, at least. Oh, uh, it's an 8 plus... 5... I'm looking at the locket. It's a 13. <laughs> nope. Missed. Okay, well... Hold on. If you flip the 13 around... The 31 probably hits. Is that what, Jesse? 15 hit? Nope. Fuck, I'm spending a key point. I'm gonna hit him two more times. Well, let me make sure I can. Oh, wait, I can attack again. I have extra attack. Yeah. <laughs> have I you just not been bonus. using that this entire fight? No, just this one. Just this time. Because I thought I had one and then a bonus. I actually have two and a bonus. So I can attack three times per turn for free. And a bonus. And a boner. What That's the? a four. Um, that one hits, I think. Um, I think Nick <laughs> is wrong, so I'm gonna go ahead and spend a key point. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spend a key point to attack two more times. Okay. I'm gonna use the Pringles Tower because it has the old logo. That's a two. So you gotta uh, get it together. <laughs> well, that one definitely is. <laughs> well, let's see if I swing five times and hit once. Come on, Pringles can. That hits. That's a 19. Okay, I hit fucking once. <laughs> okay. I'm just doing Thank the throw. God. With a sla I'm going to do a intimidating him with the first I'm going to do, do a bludgeon to his fucking head, actually. I don't want to punch this guy in the face. Um. Oh, wait. Is this a D12? Yeah, that's not the right dice. Hold on. Yes. Oh, yeah. I got an, uh, 13. 13? Anyway, Max describe damage. describe what your attack was. I'm punching him square in the fucking head because he's an idiot. I'm going to punch as hard as I possibly can. If I punch him hard enough, I'm punch through his head. <laughs> um, so you managed to punch directly through his head. I yeah. Punch a hole directly through his face. I'm going to lift up with my arm. With my arm through his head, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna ring him like a fucking chicken. You ever seen how they used to kill chickens? They'd grab him by the head and just swing him around in a clockwork motion, and their heads Jesus would fly off. <laughs> that's, that, uh, like that. that's an easy way to kill a chicken, by the way. If you're like a frail old woman, you just grab it by the head, and swing it around, and its head will pop off in your hand. Um. That's why I attempt to do. I don't know if that'll work, but I don't like this guy, so fuck him. 
All right. <laughs> uh, you kind of just swing him around a bit, but his head never rips off. <laughs> Fuck yeah. and, uh, well, his body flies out the room, and if he grows a head back, he's gonna have to invite himself in. Goodbye, closed door. All right, end my turn. <laughs> um, what's what's really odd with this one though is your arm is covered in blood. Everything you fought up until now never had any blood. Cool. I look badass. Next turn. <laughs> Next turn <laughs> <laughs> is uh the. One that's two mats left, and he is going. He is going to swing at Matt twice. Yeah, you already know what it is. Uh, if he hits me, I'm making him re-roll that shit. That's a seventeen. Uh, me to beat it, so that hits. Let's see if the second one hits. Thirteen. Okay. All right, reroll that first one, and I miss. So just reroll. I don't do any damage. Yeah, I'm out of stamina points. And that hits. Uh, that Six. does hit. All right. Uh, take ten damage. Hanging on by a thread. All right, and then it's the one that's grappled. He is going to make a strength check to try and get released. Uh, that is a 13. Rolled a 13 as well. A 13 and a 10. It's tied. Or, oh, wait. Uh, would this be a strength saving throw for me? I don't, I just, I don't know. You've been wanting to keep track of how we do it. I just thought I got to do a strength contest. Uh, yeah, but a strength contest considered saving throws. I just want that for proficiency's sake. Thanks to just strength check against strength check. Um, if it meets it, beats it, then yeah, I guess. Um, so he breaks free, and he sh uh, he attempts to shove you towards uh towards Jesse. Would this be a strength contest <laughs> <laughs> or an attack roll? It'd be an attack roll for him to shove you. Okay. Uh, um, so he crits and he shoves you backwards. And you fall prone right in front of Jesse. Uh, you don't take any damage as he just kind of pushes you away with his hands. Let's just say and, Bart's rotting at my feet. <laughs> and you guys now are face to face with you guys is side by side and they both have their weapons drawn and it is now Matt's turn and you are prone alright I use what is it half my movement to get up yeah alright and I go to put him immediately right back into the same headlock <laughs> you just got out of uh it's a 22 that hits <laughs> so I guess well, he's grappled again Glad that turn did absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, you know, um, you know, I, I, I'm done playing games with this guy. <laughs> uh, so sorry. Let me refer to my feet one more time, and then see if this requires any. Stamina, because I am out of stamina. Uh, Ow. Um. All right, so I'm just going to make two unarmed attacks against him, and since he's grappled, I have advantage. So that one hits. Let's see if I crit. Nope. Okay. And then the second one. Oh, hold on. That hit a wall. Uh, that one hits. Let's see if I crit. No. Okay. So two hits. Uh, two d6s. Uh, so that's six damage. Plus six damage. It takes 12 damage. It's got him yoked up and I'm just punching him in the face. Okay. And then after you is Jesse. 
If that's all you can do. Me again? That, so we that have, is all I can do. We have a saggy guy and a somewhat not saggy guy, right? Uh, yeah, he's only been hit by, like, my interrupt. But we have a saggy guy, right? There is a saggy guy. Uh, well, I get three arm strikes as it is. I got him grappled, so do with that what you will. Advantage on him? Yep. Well, let's see if I... That's a crit. First attack <laughs> is a crit. Second attack is not a crit, but I roll advantage. What happens if I roll two crits in a row? Alright, second attack misses. I get crit. Third attack. 16. I'll roll again. Uh, not 16. So, 16 One. is not hit, correct? No, 18 is what you guys had to hit. Okay. I'm going to roll again on the first attack, which was a crit. If mm -hmm. I crit again, uh, I expect a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Not a crit. Okay, never Kevin mind. takes you out to dinner if you crit. Kevin takes you out to dinner. Kevin. We eat some ribs together. All Kevin is actually closed for three weeks right now, so. Why? Dude, that's the same. There's a Korean barbecue place right here that fucking blew up, and it's or a Korean fried chicken, and it blew up, and I'm pissed because I've been craving <laughs> that shit. We tried to get Hog Kevin. Kevin closed? We tried to get Hog Kevin yesterday, or yesterday because but they their website doesn't say they're shut down and if you call the fucking phone line it just rings until it eventually finally just stops ringing and there's no voicemail for them and then you gotta go on their facebook page and their facebook says that they're closed for three weeks starting on the fourth it doesn't say why well i haven't been there since march with you guys so i wouldn't fucking know but either way if I had rolled two twenties, Devin's buying me hog heaven. <laughs> That's the <fucking> thing. <laughs> Those ribs were nuts. Anyway, um, okay, so one attack crit. Um, yep. Let's see if it explodes. Someone get the exploding dice once, please. Yeah, I ain't never gotten that. It didn't even hit a fucking number. Damn, almost <laughs> the same number. It's a 12. 12 damage? Yeah, I'm doing 12, and I'm going to fucking uppercut him in the chin. Like the dog that he is. So, okay. And then it is the other one's turn, and he is going Ooh. to see you uppercut his friend, and he's going to look towards you, and he's going to roll two attacks at you, Jesse. Go ahead. My tits are fucking absorbent. Take your swing! Take your that's, swing. That's 20. My hits. Guess what? I'm that's, gonna eat that's, that that's 10. Lunch and dinner. 10 damage? I don't give a fuck. No, 10 attack on the second hit. That is 10 damage, oh. but... Mm. Okay. Alright. Is that it? And then it's the one trying to break freeze turn. That's a 14. Uh, that's a 15, so he automatically doesn't get out. But let's see if I crit. No. Are you still right. grappled? And it's Matt's turn. Um. Yeah, I really don't want to draw any attention to myself. So uh, I think I'm just going to punch him in the face three times with advantage. <laughs> Better hit all three of these. Uh, so that one, well, let's see. If you're lucky, I'm a monk. Uh, 18 so to hit. first one hits. Okay. Um, second one does not hit. Uh, third oh. one crits, but let's see if I double crit and get Hog Heaven. No. Uh, no, okay, so, <laughs> so I hit, hit, or er, I hit, miss crit. So let's see. First roll damage. No. Uh, five. Second roll damage. Five. Also five, but I'm mad because I hit a dice. <laughs> Alright, so he uh, takes ten damage. Alright, the first punch, you kind of knock him kind of woozy. You kind of see him hit that, you know, that uh, UFC fight, uh, 
like state where you get hit yeah, real they hard. Yeah, to lose their grounding. <laughs> yeah, you hit him with that, and then the second punch, you just kind of knock him unconscious, like, immediately. You just see blood splatter everywhere. He's and, leaking, he's leaking. <laughs> and you see the the blood splatter onto the other one that's still alive. And he just kind of stares in fear, and he drops his weapon and, like, lays out his palms towards you guys. Cool. Easy kill. Alright. <laughs> Hold on now. Uh, <laughs> and, also, after this is over, I'm going in that wardrobe and I'm taking a nap, because I am in no condition <laughs> to continue. And I would have be, key points to heal myself, so... It'd be Jesse's turn. If that's the end of your turn, Matt. So the last person is just standing mm -hmm. there... He so he 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 drops his weapon, drops to his knees, and leaves his hands open towards you. Cool, time to execute him. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> you don't want to get any information first. <laughs> <laughs> he he broke or they broke kindness in half. It's all you, man. I'm staying out of this, even though you, you're the one that got me in this mess in the first place. I'm gonna lift my foot way up to the sky. And I'm going to say, any last words? And all you hear him say is, all you, all you see him do is just spit at your feet. The one up in the air, the one on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the like ground. The projectile reflect, you hit the I'd spit say, back. That's cute. Mama always said, if you spit, <laughs> if you spit at the opposite foot that's in the sky, Use the foot that's in the sky to end your opponent. So guess what's going to happen? I'm going to come down with an attack since he's like volunteering himself, surrendering. I assume that's a guaranteed hit or no? Yeah. Okay. Well, I won't even roll then. I roll damage though. With an arm strike. Uh, then you land. Very cool. I love this dice tower, by the way. Sprinkles. <laughs> Fucking Pregos. Uh, that's a nine. Pregos. Nine Pringles. damage. But I could do it again if they didn't kill him. He just kind of shrugs that one off like it was nothing. Oh, so it's like a cartel execution video? Like, I'm going to have to do it again until his fucking head falls off? All right. Would you consider this man prone? Because I'll get on this, too. I, I got some stomps. <laughs> I'm going to lift my head, foot up to this guy again. My mommy said if the first <laughs> Amber Axe doesn't happen to cut their head off, try it again. It's just fucking voluntarily gonna get shit stomped out. 11 damage. He just shrugs it off again. Uh, I have a third Alright, I'm, I'm gonna assist him in this attack. one. <laughs> third attack. Let me do my third attack. Uh, the fuck's... That's a... That's a 9... He just eats it. <laughs> Alright, huh? so... He's still alive? Yeah. Alright, well, he's gonna take another D6 from my big foot. As Jesse <laughs> hits his head down to the ground, he can take seven more. Three fucking stomps to the neck, and he's still alive. <laughs> Alright. So how much damage, Matt? Seven. This is something that they post on the fucking best hey, order. He, best he... Order. He, you, you hit him, but he just eats it, and he looks up at both of you, and he says, you guys kick like pussies. This dude's literally <laughs> built for tough. All right, Jesse, in unison. I'm going to lay on him. I'm going to lay him down. I'm going to give you... I'm going to lay... <laughs> Take it. Takes... I roll a stomp for nine. I'm about to just jump up in the air, crisscross <laughs> applesauce, and land on his head. 350 pounds, unarmed strike. Right, so, you guys rolling damage? Yeah, I, I ran out of nine. I rolled a, a 10 to land on his fucking head with my whole body weight, crisscross applesauce, land on his head. Alright, that's the end of it, so explain how you guys kill him. Well, I stomp his head down to the ground, and Jesse goes up and flomps him. Flomps him like a pumpkin, and his brain splat <laughs> towards the closet, and that bitch is watching this whole fight, gets guts on her fucking eyeballs, I imagine. Mama always said if the foot don't work, you sit on him. 
I'm always said 350 pounds of the head always plants it. All right. Yeah. He he took what his mama gave him. I'm gonna grab up my half kindness and put it in my backpack so I can repair it later. All right. I I need to take a long rest right now. <laughs> we need to close this door and just both take a group cuddle on this bed, or if there's two <laughs> beds, we take one bed a piece. There's, there's only one bed in here. We can I share first. I open the door first because I don't want this chick to bite me while I'm sleeping or something. Be like, well, I, I close the door first. By the way, the the door to the room, and I say, well, I told you we got it. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm almost dead. <laughs> if, just... I, if I didn't have this racial, I would have been dead like three turns ago. I have literally one HP. I have 12. But um, I open the door and say, well, I told you I, we got it. And she's going to throw the limb that you gave her. Like, she's going to throw it. Uh, I'm going to roll a d4. One it hits Jesse. One it hits Jesse. Two it hits Matt. Three and four it hits nobody. Yeah, throw it at me. It oh, hits okay. you, Jesse. <laughs> uh, Do take I take damage from her throwing this arm at me point blank. Yes, you take three damage. What the? Three, why three is budgeting that, damage. Why is it a one out of four to? beat my armor class. That's All true. Right. How much damage? Just three. Oh, I wanted to see if maybe Matt got knocked unconscious from this. It's a fucking quarter <laughs> chance to just beat my fucking armor class. As soon as, if, if I woke up, I would put this girl <laughs> in the crippler crawl face. I'd be like, what the hell is that for? Ow. And she's gonna drop down and she's just gonna start screaming. I'm a cover. She's now. she's covered. She she is covered in blood. It's just watched a bunch of people get murdered in front of her. She watched her captors. I assume <laughs> unless she was voluntarily just sleeping in this room full of dis disemboweled corpses. I don't fucking know. Maybe some people like it be, that shit. It could be Stockholm syndrome. It could be uh, Stockholm syndrome. It could also be a psychopath who might have to break your neck, Matt. <laughs> can I like you know, yeah, just Lenny smaller ass? Uh, can I make like a charisma check to like try to charm her into being quiet? You try and calm her down, but not charm her. Hey. Unless you have a charm spell. Uh, I'm a handsome man. Handsome Goliath. Um, what would trying to jump. calm her down? What would that be? Animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> Women no, not fucking. D and D five E misogyny edition. Yeah. Tell me um, what I'm rolling before I release this dice. What what modifier? Uh, do a persuasion. I don't really know what else it would be. God damn it. Uh, critical. Critical one. Critical 20, baby. Alright, what do you do exactly? I calm her down. How old is this woman? Is she like 5 or like a 3,000 year old vampire that looks 5? She looks that pretty young. Okay. It looks like maybe she's like not even in her 20s. Tell her to sh stop screaming. What's the matter? And she, uh, she's like, as she's whimpering, crying, she's gonna say, more are going to come. Huh? He says, more are going to come. When? And she points at the door. And there's nobody there? There's nobody there. She said, made you look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my patience. I'm on one HP, but I think I can take a teenager. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, we're gonna jump to the other group for now. Um, on that one. I gotta piss like a racehorse, I say, and I piss in the corner of her room. Alright, you guys. Right back. You guys got a lot of time now. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
All right. What are you guys doing? You guys came out the crypt or out the mausoleum, and you're currently standing at the top where you guys can feel a lot of rumbling going on. Still rumbling. 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 Uh, I mean. I mean Nick, go ahead. So, I mean, we can't stay them. here because you obviously need water or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't be wise to go back in the direction that we came from. Correct. So I mean, we just kind of have to. We must move forward. We have to move in the direction that we assumed is forward. But All I right. think we should probably go quick if the rumbling is coming. Rumbling, rumbling. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going over to the base of this massive fucking staircase. What is this? Tonitrus? Ton Have I seen this? Oh, like... Tonitrus? It's a weapon from Bloodborne. <laughs> okay. It's the electric mace. Awesome. When we're when we were over here, I didn't. I don't really know if you gave us a description of what we saw. But I see no, the staircase. Yes. What is this Fog. thing? I don't know what this thing is. It's just a boulder to me. Okay, but... so we can ignore that? Yeah. Okay. So there's a staircase though, right? The staircase and there's a path that goes underneath the staircase. Okay. I'm going to check underneath the staircase first and foremost. Wait, let me stealth first. But first, let me take a selfie. Stealthy. Crit, let me crit one? Selfie. No, fuck off. <laughs> Knowing Ant, it's gonna be 19, real. motherfucker, plus five. No, wait, plus six, actually. 25. Fuck you. Is he <laughs> next up out of Atlanta? Anthony, you wait. don't feel stealthy at all. You honestly feel like you're about to just fucking wide stomp all the way through. <laughs> Wrong. I'm <laughs> fucking different, motherfucker. I'm so <laughs> stealthy right now. I'm going trying to stealth past the boulder trap. The boulder don't care. All right. Yeah, I'm do I see what, what's under what's under here what's under you said there's a path so I'm yeah the path from the once, shadows. once you get to the other path other end you can see two uh humanoid figures on the other side and I imagine and that's all I can see yeah and the fog sorry yeah. what exactly did you do I stealthed and I followed the path that went underneath the staircase. I'm still mainly just looking for water. So I didn't really communicate this to you guys. So like, I don't really know how you're going to react to me doing this, but like the game I'm is running away from you. You guys are at the base of the stairs, I guess. And I started just kind of running underneath it. So react how, you're, how you want, I suppose. But that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, hello? <laughs> Who's there? I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay. Wait. All right. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try. I'll be to, right back. I'm gonna try to stealth past these guys and go investigate what's behind them. Oh, you're gonna go so, stealth past them? Yes, I will just run past them without engaging them at all. Uh, why can I not? Oh, um, there we go. Okay, mm -hmm. there's another fucking tower. Do I see this? I imagine I see another. Yeah, figure. you can see this. You can see this tower, and if you were to look really closely at the top, you can see a large bell at the top of it. Well, I don't. So that's not really what I want. Okay, uh, is there an inside? Can I see? So these stairs, they go in, whatever. Let's. This is what I'll do. I'm gonna sneak around this guy. I'm gonna sneak okay. around, and then I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna take the stairs, and I'm gonna open this. Is this a door? I'm yeah. Go, there's an inside. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go up these stairs, and I'm gonna slide the door open. So I'm gonna swing the door open real quick, and I'm gonna take a peek inside. What do I see? You can see a staircase going up and a staircase going down. Um, there's not really like a floor; it's just kind of the stairs that wraps around the building on the inside. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so then on the inside, if I when I walk in, can I peek over the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the railing, the railing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I peek over the railing? What's what's down below? Down below, you can see what looks like a living quarters. Okay. Um, there's a bunch of bedrolls and, um, 
It looks like it goes down even farther past the floor that you can see. Is there's another staircase that goes underneath the ground? Okay. Um. All right. Let me. All right. I'll fall. I'll I'll back off for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk back. I'm gonna stealth back around these guys, and I'm gonna walk back. I'm gonna say, hey, I'm back to you guys now. You Hello. Guys here. Hey. Yo. There's a tower. There's a couple vampires. I think I spotted three of them. Um, there's a tower behind them that seems to go underground. There is a bell attached to it. Not that that's of any particular interest to me or us, I suppose. But it oh. is an underground section. I don't necessarily think any of that's going to lead us to water, but, like, maybe we could check it out before going up these stairs. That's our best bet, right? Or yeah, it's better than move. nothing. I mean, the only other option is going up these stairs, so... Yeah, as I was say, I would vote downwards if yeah, we're going to go in that direction. I agree. We should probably go check it out. I could have gone alone, but, like, I figured I should probably come back and let you guys know that you're not just... Yeah, left your hanging. Yeah, I mean, I don't need the water. Like this is uh, you don't you need the water, obviously. <laughs> like, like, if you're gonna leave pee, pee in the dust, like you should probably tell him at least. <laughs> nah, I figure, I, I'm just coming back to let you guys know. So, what do you what do you guys want to do? Well, I mean, there's obviously never gonna be a water up unless it's like unless there's like some man-made pool of water, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't really know if, uh, can we, is this like a, a mountainside or something? Like, is there, or is this, is this staircase just, does it seem to lead into the fog and that's all we can see? You can see a large structure. You would assume this is probably the main building of this entire, um, courtyard's the floor. The stairs, right? Yeah. Okay. There's probably some water in there, but like, I don't know how easy it's going to be to find it, so... We might as well check down here first. I mean, how many hours do we got until they're uh, fucked? Well, it's got to be like two now, right? A little under two, yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I guess that's that's probably the play. Yeah, all right. Well, fellas, what do you want to do? You want to you take these fuckers out, or do you want to just kind of sneak around them? I'm not a big sneaker. Uh, but I can, I can yeah, you're definitely more like a croc if you're, if you're yeah. a sneaker. I'm like, I'm like a, I'm like Tim's, more like. <laughs> if we're gonna be honest, I'm a loud guy. Right, yeah. exactly. Well, I spotted three of them, so let's try to take them out one by one. Then I guess if that's what we're doing. Are they all like close, or are they? There's, there's two. Uh, there's one straight ahead of us. There's one ahead of us and to the right, and then there's um, a third. That is ahead of us into the left. But are they like separate? Just... They're separate. Um, we could probably drag. They could, we could probably uh, bait them out one by one. Yeah, they're not. They're not really cloaked or anything. All right. You got the stake. All right. I'm, I'll follow uh, I you. I'll take point. I guess I'll take point then. Yeah. Uh, I'll be. I'll really be right, right behind you in case anything goes wrong. Okay. 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 All right. You're the, um, you're the stealthy stake. I'm I'll sorry. stay stealth. Uh, I'm going to sneak up, I guess, to the first one here. I suppose you guys are following me. Yep. Um, I'm going to try to stay out of view of the other two. Do we have to roll stealth, Devin? Yeah. If you're going to be moving up, yeah, you need to roll stealth. You yeah, you can... don't have to stay right up next to me or anything, but, like, I'm I'm gonna going to get a next backpack. So. I want to <laughs> stay within, like, you know... Like, yeah, within yeah. a turn of movement. Okay. That's I mean, fair. I, I don't guess. think you... Yeah, true. So what I... What, I assume I would need to... Yeah, 20 to 30 feet. Yeah, 20. So I assume I would need to still roll stealth then. Yeah, sure. I did this at all. Do a little... A skip to beep by beep 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 beep. <laughs> I rolled like... Like a <laughs> <laughs> Seven, actually, to be fair. Okay. Uh, uh, Anthony, you would notice that he doesn't seem like he's very stealthy at all. Uh, all right, honestly, here... you think he might blow your cover. Okay. All right, here's what we'll do. All right. 
Um, yeah, I look at Anthony say... and go, how do I look? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it needs some work. All right, so here's what we'll do. All right, I'll, you follow, okay, but stay maybe 40, -ish, 40 feet away. And you know, that's exactly that. how much movement I got. Great, perfect. You stay 40 feet out. Um, I should be able to get at least one with no problem. The I don't think the other two are going to see me, but on the off chance they do, that should be close enough for you to like intervene. Okay. All right, so I'm going to sneak up behind the first one. Oh, fuck. I hate how hard it is to get your piece Please. to go underneath things. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck to get it under there. Whatever. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ping where I'm going. Okay, right, right. there. That's right. where I'm going to go. Not quite. Hold on. Right here, I'm going to sneak around to this position, and I'm going to try to uh, attack this one. Okay. All right. Um, that work? Okay. You'll, you'll, yeah, you'll have advantage. Okay, cool. So I have advantage, which means I get an extra D6 of damage if it's necessary. I believe that's what it is. Let me find my sheet. Hold on. Um, where is my there we go. Well, once per turn you can deal an extra one D six damage to one creature you hit with an advantage on the attack. Okay. Alright, so let me roll to hit this motherfucker with the stake. I don't know what I would add to this. Strength dex. It's, it's dex, and you're not proficient with it. I'm not proficient with it, so I Unless you're dex. proficient with, uh, what sword? Improvised weapons? Well, improvised weapons. I don't think I am. I don't have that written anywhere, so I'm going to assume I'm not. Dex plus four, so 12. I'm pretty sure that doesn't hit. I gotta pull this shoot up one second. Oh. I'm back, by the way. I don't know if you're waiting. have advantage? So, oh, that's right. Mm, I have advantage. Yeah, you have advantage, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I forgot. Fucking get it. <laughs> All right. Sixteen. All right. Sixteen is my uh, real roll. Uh, where's sixteen hits? Okay. Um, I don't really know if I need to roll damage or not. I'm just kind of driving it through its heart from the back. So. All right. Uh, when you drive the stake through its back, it falls to the ground, completely paralyzed, and begins to fade away. Okay. Um, I imagine Nick can see me at 40 feet, even in the fog. You will have to tell me if that's correct or not. Okay, you can kind of hear the thud of the body hit the ground. Okay. All right. Um, uh, but he, he'll be unsure because he wouldn't be able to see it. I mean, <laughs> Anthony's body would not make that sound. Cause he's not <laughs> so I feel like I can assume yes. that Excellent. something died that wasn't him. <laughs> or something hit the ground that wasn't him at least. Alright. I'm gonna wait for you to move forward a little bit before I see you before I move on to the next one. So Yeah, I'll I'll move forward a little bit. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what what's the what's the line of sight in this fog, Devin? Do you wanna give us a number? Like Five fifteen feet. fifteen to twenty. Fifteen to twenty feet? Yeah. Okay. Alright, um Nick, what are you doing? You where, moving in? Where? Yeah, where I'll are ping we? Where I was, I'm I'm here ish. What the hell is your ping? Can oh, you see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what the fuck? My WASD isn't working. There we go. That's where I am. So you're gonna move up? Yeah, I'm gonna move. I don't, where's my character? Oh, yeah. I'll move up like. All right, so I'm here ish. Um, I see you. I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm gonna motion. Um. To my left, your right. Uh, to this one, which is where I'm moving next. I don't know if you can see it at this range. I think you can. Uh, this is probably 20 feet. Devin, can you see this guy? Where is he I'm at? here. I'm here. The next one is here. That's where I'm moving. And he's within 20 feet, so he's like here-ish. Somewhere around there. Okay, yeah, so he'll be able to see. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna motion at that one. And then I'm gonna sneak this way. Back around. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Take that motherfucker out. Alright, my character is trying to think of what he means when he you points take it? The Dog Evan. <laughs> I, I already point. assumed you got it so I'm not waiting for you to figure I'll, it out I'll, I take a while to think about it 
Dome is rocks. Oh! Okay, it's with advantage, so I got a 15. <laughs> this is a nat 1. Do I take... Wait, is that how that works? No, you take the higher if it's with okay, advantage. I, even if it's a nat 1? Okay, okay, okay. Alright, um, then I got a 15. Rolling that to does, hit on that this does, guy. That does not hit, and it oh. blows your cover. Shit. And it's going to turn around and screech. Uh-oh. I'm sprinting towards the screech. So it'll be Anthony. Vaughn. One. Uh, Nick. Vaughn. Two. Jared. All right, Anthony, that was your turn. It is this one's turn right in front of you. And it is going to take... Did I open the wrong one? Yeah, I did open the wrong one. It is going to take... Makes two attacks, only one... Okay, so it make two attacks at you. So one's going to be a bite and one's going to be a claw attack. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, are you going to roll to hit twice? I imagine. Yeah, yeah, I'm rolling. So, 9 plus 6 is 15. That one hits. That's the bite. Okay. Take 6 piercing damage. Okay, I can see it, so it's halved. So, I'll take 3 damage. And then take 7 necrotic damage. Ooh, that's four, I guess. Do I round up, I imagine? How does that work, exactly? Because yeah, I don't know. Google it. If you can see something, you take half damage? I take half damage, yeah. That's just how thieves work, apparently. If I can see it when it's attacking me, then I take half damage. But that would, for every attack? Every single uh, attack? Oh, oh, or... sorry. So, I guess I get a reaction. So, I don't oh, know if I get a reaction on both. So, that my reaction is that I take half damage. You get so one reaction once per turn. turn. Once, uh, hold on, let me read it. Starting at fifth level, when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attacker's name against you. Okay. So you get one gotcha. reaction a turn. So yeah. I get one reaction per turn. Yep. So, so I have the first one. So this is this is this is still the same attack. It's just the lingering effect of the seven the seven necrotic damage. Oh, so I long. just take a seven full necrotic damage. No, you would have. To it's one attack, I assume. You tell me, Devin. Is uh, it one attack, or...? I don't think you'd take the necrotic damage. I think you'd still take the full necrotic damage. You would take Full the necrotic, half but I have the bite. Yeah. So, so, so I take six... three damage from the bite, and then I take seven damage necrotic. Yep. Okay. And then... That's ten damage. Yikes. And then did the, 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 both attacks hit. So... Uh... Do... Take eight. Fucking take eight. Def uh, eight slashing damage. Oh. Okay. Eight slashing and damage. I didn't realize. I forgot the. Wait. Both attacks hit. I thought nine. I thought you. Nine. I thought you rolled a six for the the bite. It was a nine in chat. It was a nine. So then I take nine plus that. six. Nine plus six. What oh, six? it was okay. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the attacks. Both attacks hit, so... Right, the both bite, attacks hit. Bite was six, you half that to three, took seven. Okay. Took yes. ten damage for the necrotic total. Bite that's in, was... That's from bite, the first attack? Yeah, bite was ten. Bite was ten. Holy fuck, okay. <laughs> and then the second... The slashing attack with the claws was eight damage. Okay. Uh, I am dead. <laughs> <laughs> Dead, bro. <laughs> I was not at full health. I was at thirteen health. I don't really remember why. Did we take? Did we take a full? Uh, you have to take double your health from zero. No, I understand that. I'm saying, did last session? I don't remember why I took damage, but I don't think we rested, did we? We did not rest. Okay, so I was at thirteen health out of twenty-one. So I just took ten plus eight, so I took eighteen damage. I only had thirteen. You're knocked out. <laughs> So I'm at zero hit points currently. <laughs> yeah, you're knocked out. All right. Um, and going? then after that one, it is Nick's turn. Nick, you just seen uh, 
You just seen uh Mukung just get fucking shit on. I got molly wop, dude. I got shit on. I, I got one tap. To sprint to where he got one tap. <laughs> uh, and I will rage and recklessly attack the thing that the thing that beat the fuck out of him. Uh, so I have advantage. Oh my god, what is this big fucking can? I was zoomed, <laughs> I was zoomed in on the battlefield and didn't see the big fucking duff can where my Pringles can used to be. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> it says I penis. Thirsty. I was thirsty. Let me scale this down, buddy. Hold on. Scale, yeah. Yeah, scale uh, that bitch down. <laughs> Yeah, I will recklessly attack with my battle axe because I, I do not have. I do not have a stake because Anthony took it. In my hand, pick it up. <laughs> Sorry about the Hillary Duff can. The first one was <laughs> eight. What are you doing? You're attacking. I'm attacking, so I got a. Skip to be Bobby, beep 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 beep. Fourteen to hit for the first attack. How much? I'm sorry. Fourteen. That does not hit. All right. Well, I will use my second attack. So I'm level five. Okay, that one misses. Or that roll did. Uh, thirteen. So nineteen to. Hit. That hits. Alright, and I will uh, swing it out with the battle axe, I guess. Alright, roll damage. Uh, hold on, I gotta find the funny fucking d12, because it's gone. Here we go. Okay, my mouse is broken. Get in the Pringle scan. Uh, four plus ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. four plus three four so eleven eleven slashing eleven slashing uh, and I want to put myself in between that is that is halved yeah that's fine uh I want to uh, put so myself you... in between uh Anthony's dead body and the vampire all right um nick after you hit it you see us like it seems like a second attack hits you're not sure from where but it does seem like it hit pretty hard like something that wasn't me hit it yeah <clears throat> okay i i need a little bit more than that like what do you mean it seems like something else like so like you I see heard. so you see you hit it and then immediately after it like it, the, the the vampire kind of like it seems like it got hit a second time like it got like, punched in the face a second time so it got like staggered back after I hit it yeah but it wasn't from my head okay alright and uh that's the end of my turn and it Whatever attacks me has advantage. Alright. And then... Suddenly you see... The second one... Oh, why the fuck it go so high in the sky? Oh, <laughs> this map is fucked. It... This one sprints over to you, and it's going to make two attacks at you. Alright, it has advantage. Do... And I gotta open that sheet back up. And my... Those are plus six. So, uh, 19. The, they, both hit, they both hit. They both hit. Alright, so you take six. Uh, oh, it also has advantage. Let me roll those again. Let's yeah. Well, that's 20. Oh, double oh. 18. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, enough. take six. Uh, Wait, no. Yeah, six six piercing damage. Okay, that's halved. And, and then take... 
seven necrotic damage. Okay. And then take a eight slashing damage. Okay, that's halved. And make a dex DC save of 13. Fair thing. Oh, come on, baby. Gary needs a new pair of shoes. Gary, don't wear them, motherfuckers. 18, so be it. All right. And then it after, that's the end of its turn, and it is Jared's turn. Well, everyone's dying. <laughs> PP is running away. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I don't know what you're talking about. I got 55 max HP. I don't give a motherfuck about the. How many enemies? How many enemies are there? Two. Hmm. There's one that me and some unknown entity just beat the fuck out of, and then another one. Like a 2004 Chrysler Crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's just gonna name every car in existence by the end of the stream. <laughs> Feels like a vampire got hit by a car. Not that you know what that is, but you couldn't see it. <laughs> you get the booze cruiser bonus. Oh fucking yes! How far am I from them? You're about, a, you're about a 2005 Chrysler 300 away from us. <laughs> That's like nothing. Got on like 40 and you get there <laughs> no in one way. turn. He's more like a 2011 Dodge Dakota at this point. <laughs> at least. Uh, you never described where you went, PP. So I imagine Weird. you're back at the mausoleum or the staircase. Yeah, I was far. You're just solo the tree. You stay away from the fireballs for three turns. He drives up in his 2015 Volvo XC70. 3.2 Premier Plus. I don't think I'm close enough to do anything, so I don't really yeah, think I can do anything. Uh, you, you can dash to double your movement. So, like, probably up to, like, here. So, there's no tile system. Yeah, yeah but if it's get... foggy as fuck, you wouldn't see us anyway, I don't think. No, you get to, you get to like here. Yeah, I think I'm just done. I don't really think I could do anything until I get closer. I put these two Sorry. here. All right, and then Anthony, can you write down this is one turn of you being unconscious? I'll write it. He just said he'd be right back. I'll keep track. Oh, Anthony got KO'd. Yeah. He missed and his stake attack and then got hit for fucking 800. Wait, did he actually get O-Code by the vampire spawn? I mean, he was he was low HP to begin with, so... Ah, that's true. And then, um... It is the first one's attack that Matt Anthony missed on. And is going to take its two attacks at you. Yep. Uh, so crit fail and a uh, that does not hit it's plus six. It's that, that meets it. it oh, oh, it meets it. it. Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. That's thirteen. I have fourteen. All right. So I you get one free attack on this one. Badass. So um, roll to hit. I missed. But you're here. I'm back. Why is the chat keep being stuck on my fucking screen? I rolled a 14, but. Unless this one just has yeah, it's, less it's, armor. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it doesn't hit. Alright. Yeah. And then. After that. It is Eunuch. Uh, can you? Eh, all right, I'm just gonna swing twice at the one that I beat the shit out of already. All right. Uh, does a sixteen hit? 
Yep. Okay, let me roll the second one. Just if I could add it up. Okay. Mouse, pick up the dice. Got a good cheese. That hits. Okay. Time to roll 2d12s. So the first one hits him for. Okay. Flip damage. Pause. It there fell off the screen. Auto for it. First one hits him for 15. I oh, just picked Nick, up. Nick the grab the fog. I grab the fog. And then the second one hits him for 15. Of course, a number that makes this math hard. I mean, uh, half of 15 is 8. 30 half is 15. Yeah, but if you're doing each individually, it'd be 16, so it's 16. Uh, so how much damage you do? How much? How much damage you do total? Uh, thirty in total, I guess. But if you ha it de depending on how you half it, it could be fifteen More. or sixteen. So the first one, first one was how much? They they both hit for fifteen, but if you if you round them up individually, I will hit for sixteen if it's half. But if you round them up together, I'll hit for fifteen if it's half. Einstein over here. Well, let's do 16, because I'm just... I yeah. don't understand how <laughs> okay. we got there. <laughs> because the because of, if you cut 15 in half and round up, it is 8. But if you count, or if you cut 30 in half, it is just 15. I yes. can understand that. Math. 2,000 yeah. 5, Chrysler 300 C. Who cares? Uh, I had a three the crossfire, by the way. You hit, him, you hit him for 16, and then you see a third attack hit it. What and about a fourth one, though? He comes back with a 2011 Wrangler. Let's go. <laughs> Do you see a beverage driver up here in the driver's seat? Yeah, a third attack hits it. Sure. Does it knock it out, though? That's the real question. You need to consult the 1990. It looks like it hit it pretty record. fucking hard. And then you suddenly see another attack hit it, and you're just not sure what's Bruh. hitting this thing. <laughs> That's I think Nick has become magical. Go. There's at least a Dodge Durango that hit him there. And that's this thing's looking kind of saggy. Well, that's the end of my turn. And then the next, the other one that goes to make two attacks at you as well. You say no, Nick. No. Uh, plus six to both of those. All right. Second one hits. Take you know, eight slashing. That's halved. Do I have to make a deck save? Yeah, Still, dex, yeah, deck save of 13. Yeah, we're just going to roll like a nat 20 real quick. And it is a... Uh, hold on. What did I have to beat? 14? <laughs> 13. Well, I hit a 10. That's kind of close. You are grappled by this one. No. <laughs> okay. Fine, I guess. And now it is Jared's turn. PB, uh, help! PB's going place. up the stairs. <laughs> oh, I thought that was like a little, like, overload. Where's PP going? That's like the map transition. I'm making my way through the fog. I can't see anything. Follow the sounds of combat. BP, where are you? Uh, I don't know. How far am I, DM? You could make it to about right here if you were to run underneath the, the staircase. Where? Like, no, I was like al yeah. along this line, anywhere. Yeah, it's been two turns of movement. You can make it there. That's true. Assuming you dash. Yeah, you're somewhere around there. The, the map sucks. <laughs> you're somewhere around there. <laughs> okay. Try the flick trick. <laughs> 
All right, PP, you can kind of see some shilettes in the in the fog, but it's really hard to make out what's going on. But you do see someone being held back, and two another one standing in front of them. Are you gonna do anything or? Uh. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. I can't really see. Can I scream at the top of my lungs, cast fireball? Does Jared hear me? <laughs> <laughs> that would be meta gaming. No, it wouldn't. If I scream loud enough, he could hear me. No. That'd your head. Meta gaming. Stop meta gaming. You're a meta gamer. Yeah. yeah. Stop yeah. meta gaming. Stop freaking meta gaming. This dude That's is true. literally a Subaru and Preza. Wait, Checkmate Subaru Brotherhood. Subaru Impreza. That's so my face right now. So PP does Jared nothing. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I'm fucking dead. All right, and then beverage. We're back to the first one, and you are grappled, Nick, and it's going to attack you both times with advantage. Okay. Both of those hit, right? Yeah. That's six plus seven. For the, so six piercing, uh, seven necrotic. Okay. And the, so ten total? Yeah. Yeah, if the first one's hit. So ten for the bite. And then eight for the claws for the just slashing. Right, we're still kicking. And Not then, for long. Somebody cast Goodberry. Somebody come oh, get it's, her. It's your, turn. <laughs> it's your turn, Nick. Oh, I'm going to try and break it out. Obviously. Right. I fought you from breaking grapples. Absolutely nothing. Breaking grapples. Yeah, you've literally never grappled me. Uh, What is it, a strength contest? Yep, strength yeah. contest. Nope. I rolled a 17. Gosh. Oh, you broke free. <laughs> Does that use my action? Yes. Or... That uses one of your actions, yes. Uh, can you extra attack? Even if you didn't attack? Pretty I positive, yes. So, right? One attack. Um, Devin I broke free from my grapple and shoved me. Yeah, that's how I handled it. Alright, uh, so then I'm gonna attack the... The saggy one. Alright. That hits. Right? Alright, damage time. Just do a million and you win. I did max, so 18. Yeah. Cut in half. So 18. Nine. Yep. And then you see another attack from nowhere land, and this thing just fucking gets evaporated. Peace, loser. I take the L dance. <laughs> turn to the other one. Does that provoke an attack of opportunity? No. <laughs> well, I mean, it actually it's next to me. <laughs> plays the Fortnite donkey music. And is that the end of your turn, Nick? I believe so. Yes, sir. Alright, and then the other one is going to take its two attacks at you. I don't think it will, actually. I think it's a bitch. Plus six to both of those. Uh, they both hit. That's tough. Take 10 from the bite, and take 8 Fuck from the start, lie. or 8 4 from the slash, or whatever, basically. Yeah. Okay. And then it is back to Jared. Jared, you just seen one, one bot Shilette in the uh, fog disappear, and. You see two standing up against each other, trading blows. I yell, I, yell, I could use some help over here, like I'm in a Marvel movie. Or like Coach <laughs> and Left 4 Dead. That too. Or like Coach. We got uh, company. He's, we got company. <laughs> 2017 Lincoln Navigator, let's go. Where's the default? 
You should have pulled out your Arcanine Ripper. Yeah, that's that's true, I should have. I should have land hands. Laid what hands? Lay on hands in D&D, &D, like, only heals for, like... What is it, your max HP? Yeah, which is a lot. That's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, that's how it worked in WoW as well, so I don't know why I'm confused. Yeah, fucking Paladin literally touches you with his pinky, and he's just like, yeah, guess what? You're full HP again, LOL, then fucking disappears. He really don't got a Paladin because he's dead. <laughs> he's a also, dead. He's level 2. Also, he stopped at the beer store and is level, level 2, two well. level 2 or 3, but we're not sure if he has more than 20 health, but he would have 22 health right. if he had a 0 modifier to his con at level 3. I shoot you. I shoot you. Sorry, <laughs> I'm with well, with my you. bros, but my other bro is with me, and this bro ain't gonna be my bro forever. They shooting what? I think it's five what? times Paladin level so if I don't. Force. I can't remember what the fucking lay on hand is. It's 18 force? Yeah. You use magic missile? Yeah, I use it a rank above. Alright. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes, it looks like it Alright. And then that brings us back to Anthony. This is turn three of you being unconscious. Do I need to like roll to live or something? After yeah. combat ends. Awesome. And depending on how long you're unconscious for, it's it's more rolls. Even more awesome. If I die, uh, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Uh, and now it's back to this. No, wait, it's Nick's turn. Yeah, Nick, it's your turn. I, I am going to recklessly attack and try to shove it away from me. You not have a stake? Nope, I gave it to Ant. Take it off my fucking corpse. That's true. I don't know where it is. It's uh, in my 17 fucking hand. Minutes. Yeah, well, it's kind of foggy, and you're low to the ground. Old clammy dead frog hands. I crit to shove it. <laughs> I don't know what that would do, but... I would just push it back like ten feet. Alright, well, I'm going to then walk back forty feet after that. Uh, <laughs> try to meet up with TP if I saw where the magic missile came from. Okay. So did you grab Anthony or you just left Anthony on the ground? Ah, oh, fuck! Can I grab him? Even if I attack? <laughs> um, do you have Is a second like... action? I Brothers? mean, I have extra attack, but no, I don't have... I wouldn't, uh, no. Yeah, so if you're running back, you're leaving Anthony. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Retcon a little bit. I'm <laughs> 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 fighting the Mbakum vampire. I'm gonna stay there and walk up and try to shove him again. Even <laughs> further away. Uh, five, that misses, but let's see if advantage saves me. Get Duff Beer out of here. Uh, seven. Got Duff Beard. That would probably hit. 23. Yeah. So. 34 hit. Just try to. Shove him back some more and stand in front of Anthony's body. <laughs> okay. And then, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Does the uh, the magical ghost also shove him or like? You didn't do any. <laughs> did you didn't do any damage? So. Yeah, but he, he's got two arms. He can push him along. You know. Uh, no, it's a 2014 Toyota Corolla. Oh, well, he could... Uh, 2014 Toyota Corolla, he, he could definitely push him a little further than the 15 feet that I pushed him. He pushes him 14 horsepower per, per hour? No, so you shove this one back twice, and then... Uh, is it the end of your turn? <laughs> that is the end of my turn. That dude is at least a 2012 Nissan Quest. And he's gonna run back up to you, and it's gonna make its two attacks. 
You know, you think a crit would like shove him a little bit further. Oh, oh you critted? I forgot about that. Yeah, you shoved I crit it. the first one. I would, He's I not would prone. So you got him a little further than ten oh, feet. Okay, so it's a prone. It's prone. <laughs> it's prone. It uses half its movement and it uses half of its the rest of its movement to get closer again, but it doesn't reach you. Thank God. <laughs> PP, we need some help over here. And it is Jared's cool. turn. We need, like, a paladin to cast Lay on Hands on me. I think Jared needs to spend four of his mana crystals and get his fireball. If you use fireball right. right now. Yeah, I'm killing all of them. <laughs> you, can, you can cast it to where it wouldn't hit me. Just cast it, like, oh. over here. Oh. Just put it, yes, like, right there. Well, exactly. Can you get my object for objects real quick? <laughs> yeah. Should we check his objects? Is yeah, this PP's first fireball? PP's first fireball? Pog? No. He learns what it is to be a wizard to deal like 36 D6 damage to some guy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, is, that is like 7th level fireball right there. Yeah, you just put it like over here and it hits, the corner of it hits him. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hit me. Yeah, and I kill whatever that the really final boss in the castle fireball is. is. Like, rank one? Yes, that is big. Fireball's huge. It's like a 30 foot fucking radius or something. Am I dead yet? No, I'm guarding your body with my goddamn life over here. <laughs> it's PP cast fireball. <laughs> I'm not casting fucking fireball. You could you literally can cast it so it would miss me. No, I you couldn't. Can. Yes, you can. can. Put the point of interest far enough away to where the radius would hit him and not me. Yeah. You might you need to see scale it a here. little bit. Anything yes, back. it's huge. I understand. You could just put it behind him. Like, yeah, if you cast it, like, impacting here, it'd probably hit where you yeah, wanted it to like, go. I, I don't... Like, that is how it works. You could put, like, the direct center of it somewhere else and it will spread out and hit him and not me. You're a powerful wizard, Jay Wizzy. You're a Chad. Now shoot it over here so it's safe. Now shoot the, shoot the Jared, shoot the fireball. fireball. Shinji, get in the robot. Shinji, get in the fucking robot. <laughs> <laughs> what makes this fucking thing a phase through thing so we can put it below the it's, fucking rock? It's like, just scale it down. Can he do that? Yeah, we oh, understand no. where it goes. No, he can't. He can't scale it down. Obviously, but no, you, could put, you could put the center point where it wouldn't hit me, and it would hit him. That—that's my point. Is there like a circle drawing tool? I have this. Oh, I have this thing here. How big is Firewall's radius? Thirty feet. Yeah, I just fucking. <laughs> Dude, you can't even draw on this map. Look at the circle I just made. <laughs> like, this doesn't work. I got like a half-assed one, but it's like <laughs> 60 feet wide. If you look at it from directly above. It's right, delete, delete the drawings. <laughs> it's 60 feet how big it is. 60 feet radius, yeah. 30 feet. Or, or uh, diameter. How much yeah, is it? Okay. Diameter 60 feet? All right. Is six feet. All right, Jared. This is right, look in the centerpiece. This is sixty feet. Yeah. Right. Yeah, here. just aim it a little bit up to the left, and you're chilling. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you go. Let me read this. Uh... If you put it back here, it will. Each creature in a twenty foot radius sphere centered on that point must make a dexterity saving throw. A target takes eight d six fire damage on a failed mm -hmm. save. There. Half that much on a successful one. The fire spreads around corners. It ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't worn or carried. Jared, it's the best spell in the game. You just you throw it and it does eight d sixes. Not negotiable damage. There's not <laughs> much <laughs> thought to it. You can't barter with the fireball. Where's the dang d six? Probably in the top. Uh, there, there's one by the dice towers because I was rolling it. Uh, so, what does this have to beat dex wise? Uh, there you go, Jared. Uh, I think 13. 
<laughs> on my ping. Come on, baby, crit. Oh. Roll one. Uh, oh, he beat him, so he takes half. Yeah, I think half Fuck! Happened. <laughs> right, don't worry, it still takes like 66. <laughs> what? You're chilling. Who rolled a one? No one. Roll four d6s. Well, actually, you should roll all the dice and then have it, like, because it could be more instead of rolling four. Yeah, oh, true. true. Yeah. What? Roll eight d6 and then half the number. I just rolled four. Yeah, but roll the other four. Because it's more likely to be higher if you half eight d6 than just roll four d6. So roll eight d6. Twenty eight total or twenty eight yeah. after the half? Twenty eight total. And so it takes four fourteen. fourteen fire. I mean and does it ignite you said it ignites if it's not worn? No. It ignites flammable uh, objects, but not stuff that's worn. Yeah, vampire seems pretty flammable in my opinion. But that's uh, just you guys notice that the staircase going up into this tower catches on fire. Well, I wanted to go up there anyway. Let's be real. It's <laughs> the reason you came over here. Maybe they came over for the glory of combat. Unlikely. Yeah, I think vampires are pretty flammable, personally. Jared, is at the end of your turn? Yeah. Use multi-attack, cast another one. <laughs> that would be tight. <laughs> Wizards don't get multi-attack, do they? No, they do not. Thank God. <laughs> Alright, it is Nick's turn, then. Um... You seen this it thing light on fire, or no? <laughs> It kind of just shrugged off that fucking fire, dude. To be honest with you. Fucking tight. Well, <sighs> fuck it. I have. I. There's no chance that we kill it unless I fight it. So, I'm fighting it. All right. Rabbit. Dude, hit with the uh, Goku Raditz. We'll attack it twice. <laughs> All right. Ah, that one misses. And that one's even worse, so... I missed both attacks. Let's go! Alright. And it's all like gets two attacks. Session. Those both they hit. Both hit. <laughs> yep, I'm... Take 10 and your 14 damage like you've out. been doing? I'm knocked out. I'm I'll knocked out. Die. I'll die from a PP solos, don't worry. <laughs> PP solos. Yeah. Hopefully PP solos. Wait, I'm you're not... knocked out? Yeah! yeah. Pee you better fucking solo, bro. Pee it's your turn. Yeah, I'm about I to die. leave. You just corrupted by the staff. <laughs> I mean, if if I'm you gay. gotta leave, if you gotta leave, you gotta leave, bro. Like, to be cool. honest, I would leave. To be too. honest, yeah, I would. I mean, <laughs> my character wouldn't leave, but like. In real life, if this was me and I saw both my motherfuckers die, like, I'd be out of there, too. <laughs> if you, person, Jared, Jared. Jared, if you leave, I will not hold it against you. I won't hold it against you either, bro. If uh, you just accept that we're dead, I'm about to, that's I'm okay. about to start kiting them. <laughs> Cast true. a lizard and just fucking run around, bro. <laughs> these, Wait, things are, you're th frog. these things are faster than you, so eventually it's gonna catch no. you. Jared, you jump up and stick on the underside of the bridge. Just like the normal fucking dudes we've always. They, they have a yeah. spider climbing. 
Well, Dude. how's he gonna? He's gonna have to go through some roundabout ways to get to him if he just jumps up and hangs on the underside of the bridge. Wait, Jared, do you have a steak? No. Uh, did Anthony <laughs> give me one? No. You got some wood. I tried to make some shitty ones and they, they didn't work, stick. so I threw them away. Good luck. That's that's all I can really what tell you. What am I gonna do? I mean, hit him with, whole, hit him with the whole know. person and do CPR. Listen, I mean, you could hit with hold person, but that is <laughs> that is that's, that's kind of risky. You I know? just cast fireball again while saluting your corpses. <laughs> cast it on us. Yeah. <laughs> <Like> a funeral. <laughs> a fucking voluntary sacrifice. You salute them. Well, if I do, if you both die, then the rest of us are sure to die shortly after from whatever's in the castle. Me and Jesse are still alive. Not that you know where any of us are. I I really don't know what your what your options are. Yeah. Let me look at my spell. On this at this point, it's like Devin kills us or he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you do I could just you do mirror image and then go up and pick you guys up. <laughs> what does mirror image do? Uh, it creates clones around me that the enemy thinks are me. Sh Shadow clone jutsu? Oh wait, yeah. use, use mirror image then just own him. I ain't gonna lie, Jared, you ain't you picking it. me up. You could pick him up maybe, but you ain't picking me up. You're you got fine. it, bro. I, I trust in you, I believe in you, but you can clutch this up. Just kill him. Jared, just honestly, just quick scope just him. You're kill fine. Him. Just fucking quick scope him. I trust you. Hit the uh, clip. <laughs> hit the fucking clip, bro. Well, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> you do have a little movement, so you can you can kite him probably for one turn at the range you're at. Do I have to cool down on a fireball cast? No, you can you can do it again as long as you have the spell slot. Fireball right in the middle, right in the middle of all of you guys. Oh, uh, the tower may be rendered inaccessible, but you know, Wait, you and Anthony are frogs. One of the vampire spawns died, right? Everyone's dead except for the other one, the one right in front of you. Yeah, I'm just fucking clipper with a fireball then. Right, hey, so you hit another fireball again? Yes. Same. Are you doing it with it with them in range, or are you doing it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, roll. That's the... his next turn. Fireball. <laughs> yeah. Roll the D eight or D sixes. Well, you also got to roll the Dex save, Devin. Yeah. It does not beat that. Stop beat that. You got this, Jared. I'm going to tell you right now, Jared, you need to get 54 damage right now. <laughs> That's not possible, right? <laughs> no. it, it's not. 48 it's is deep max. Deep. Hit 48 right now, and then hit it, with, <laughs> hit, it, hit it with something else next turn if you can take attack. Let's see it. I'm telling you, Jared, you jump and cling to the staircase above you. Dude, you're you also have your movement, so... Put that, put that worst gnome to... 18? I'm pretty sure it was... Eight. I didn't hit any fives or sixes. I hit one five and like two... <laughs> How much, Damn, you said? Tough. 18. That's All tough. Right. Use your movement. Uh, you... Oh my god, this map sucks. Dick! It's, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> fucked. Where, where are you going? That's the real question. I don't fucking know. I don't think anyone knows. Oh, I'm up here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And then it is its turn, and it is running towards you. Oh, I'm not tapping the game. It's running towards you, and it's going to get to the wall and start climbing. Um, no? 
You just keep <laughs> dropping down and going back up and confuse it. You get your kiting. Mm. A dolphin dive, Call of Duty style, down the uh, Black Ops Two style, <laughs> down the staircase, and throw a fireball behind you. Flashbang out. Flashing. Yeah, I think it's been five turns, and Nick, it's been what one or two. Does that mean something? Uh, that that would be my first turn, I think. Am I supposed to do something? Uh, so look at the house rule. Uh, number, it's a channel. Yeah. Number, number eight. Okay, let's see. You basically average the turns as your death saves, so you gotta you gotta beat the average. Uh -oh. I'm showing sure mirror image. Uh, okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. So you said uh, it's been five turns for me, so it's the best. How close is it to me crawl crawling? <laughs> Yeah. You said what? He's gonna get me next turn. Is that what you're doing? He's gonna get me next turn. That's 40 movement and it's not inhibited by the climbing because it has spider climb. So, yes. So, yeah, it will get up to you by the time. By next turn if you don't move. Uh, I'm gonna mirror image. Stay here. How many clones does that make? Uh, three. Yeah, it's. And do you get to like command them where they go, or how does it work? They, they, no, they just appear on me, and they can't tell which one's me or not. So do they just not move, or they just stand there? They, they, they like, they're like, they're like perpendicular to him, and they follow, uh, him, his exact movements basically, and they oh. always switch, so you can't tell which one is the real one. Okay, so it's like a. Do they cast his spells? So basically, it's like a D three of which one it hits. If it's actually him it's, or not. it says it says if you have three duplicates, you must roll a six or higher to change the attack's target to a duplicate. With two, it's eight or higher. With one, it's an eleven or higher. And then the duplicate. So if this thing easy, attacks, so when I go to attack it. When I go to attack it. What do I gotta roll? What, what's the difference? You roll, and then Jared has to roll a D twenty, and if he rolls over a six, he can change the attack or change the target to one of his clones. Okay. And it would hit the clone instead. Okay, so he made two clones, correct? Or he made three? He made three. Okay. Is that the end of your turn, Jared, or what? Yeah. Alright, so there's three clones on the field. Well, and... You still have movement, Jared. Yeah, I'm not going nowhere. Alright. And then this thing is going to climb all the way up to you, Jared, and it's going to see all of your clones. It's going to do a backflip off the st <laughs> off of the bridge, and it's going to make an attack at one of the four PPs it sees in front of it. It's doing a backflip off of the bridge and attacking. It, I dropped a piece. And it's all right, so it it hits. Oh, <laughs> oh I don't. <laughs> It hits, so, but Jared has well, to roll a d20, and if yeah. he rolls over a 6, it hits one of the clones. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. No. <laughs> what? Did he roll? Jared, he rolled a 2. <laughs> Don't roll worry. A two. You can tank one hit. <laughs> Alright, Jared, you're going to take... You take... Six piercing damage. Why? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a Robert answer right there. Seven necrotic damage. Oh hell yes! And then you take you take that you take that. And then what do you mean it, and? What <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about and? And then eight <laughs> slashing <laughs> damage. <laughs> <laughs> At eight slashing no damage. <laughs> you tank that. You tank that for sure, though. You tank that. You tank those. Surely. You. Know, what's your max? What's your max? Uh. Well, I did not do my last level's uh health. I still don't know how to do that. So, I got. I had got to add one more level of health. 
Let's see if it kills. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a D6 plus con for, or you so, take the four. So you, Jared, you would have took 14. You would have took 21, 21 damage. 21 damage. <laughs> 21. You took 21 no, I damage. I know what I fucking. What your max is? Yeah. Jared, you so know you gotta, how sticky you, you get. That. So huh? let's figure that out real quick. How do you calculate your max health? It's well. Need... What's your max up, health so for this level? It's 23. 23? Okay, so then you add 4, four plus con oh, by default, so or you add now. 1 d6 plus con, I think. Perfect. Why is his health so much higher than mine? Mine is 21. Have you, I don't think you calculated your levels, Anthony. Um, oh, hold on. Well, are you a wizard or a sorcerer? I, I, this is the third session in a row I've Googled wizard 5e. Um, I Google it every session. Let me, let me look. So your hit dice is d4 plus con, or you can roll a d6 and take your con on top of that. Wait. Whatever I, you choose. Do I increase my health at every level? D4? Yes, you moron. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got Rogue Five E searched up as well. What the fuck is D four plus six? I roll a D four or I get the four. So okay, you can either take four plus con flat, or you can roll a D six, take whatever you get, and add your con to it. Hmm. Also, Anthony, you roll a D eight or take five plus con every level for your health. So how many extra levels do I add? Cause I was, well, was I had twenty one so, written this in my back. Twenty one. How far? How long ago did I do that? The That's fuck? every every level you take five plus con or roll a d8 and add your con. It's your call. Okay, I'm still alive, every single man. level. Wait, so I'm not even dead then? <laughs> yeah, you are. No, you're oh. dead. Wait. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Mbaka um resurrects because he no, realized he I, I, no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't. I'm actually wrong because I leveled up last session, but I I still had 13 health anyway. My max yeah, health. So I'm fun. alive with fucking so three HP. But I guess I'll add. You said I had five plus con. It's if you're gonna take the uh, take the minimum or take the guaranteed, it's five plus con. So it was four D four plus con. That's four plus him. con for it's, you. It's different. It's different for every rank, yeah, every class. I take six plus con because I'm a wrestler. It it varies on your class. Four plus. So oh, you're still alive, Jared? Yeah. All right, all right, and it is your turn now, Jared. Anthony, you're at six Wait. turns. Nick, you're at two. Wait, hold on. Nick, how much health do you have? Fifty-five. 55. Jesus Christ! I think I, I, think I forgot <laughs> more than once to add this health. I think I didn't do it last level either. How much health do you have? I had twenty-one. Can I just drop okay. down on the floor? I just added six. I think I need to add another six. Or yeah, another you, your clones will all jump with you as well. And what is it? Does that count as like this a movement? So or like... That's just movement. Gonna, That's just movement. I'm another six. I'm just going to say I'm at uh, three. I'm going to do three that. Right. And then I'm going to shoot a magic missile up at her. All right. I got to roll the three calculation. Where's the triangle? I'm dead, so... Jared has a Call of Duty clutches right now. How saggy is this thing looking, Devin? Uh, if it, that's that fireball would have done more than 18 damage, it would look really saggy. <laughs> but, uh... It's, it's just looking pretty saggy. It's looking, uh... It, look, it looks kind of fine. Takes 13 force. Yeah, it's not all right, and it is. It knocked is, off its. Uh, it doesn't push it, or I don't think magic missile pushes it, does it? I don't know. I'm just trying to help Jared here. It's going to chase you. It's going to start climbing down this wall, but it's not going to have to be able to reach you in time. So it's going to get down to the ground. Me, me when I hit it. The three me clones. when I hit me. Me when I hit a three peat on sure. uh, Warzone. Jared, your turn. Uh, do it the last time, I guess. Uh, oh. Move back. Uh, 
Dude, I fucking hit a lick at my job earlier. <laughs> Did you kill someone? No, I put like 40 case or 40 cans of beer in my fucking mystery case for five dollars. I even went. I even went into the back and broke the case that I wanted. Like I'm a boss. Horse, <laughs> and I take my backwards. Is that much damage? Seventeen force, and I'm gonna keep moving backwards. Right. Download. The hell's downloading? Where did you move to? Around here. <laughs> All right, it's gonna run over to you, Jared. For the love of God, roll higher than a six. Please roll higher than a six. Jared, you have my blessing to use inspiration. Alright. You, know, you don't need it. It's, it's going to make two attacks at you right now. Two? If it hits a clone, would it hit a clone oh, again? And it's... Oh, uh, this is uh, it's that's, 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 that's eight for both. Do both hit? Or no? Which armor uh, class? Nah, you, have, you have 10 AC by default. Yeah, I have 12, so... Nope, bitch, you ain't hitting me. Both of those miss. Alright. Uh, that's the end of its turn. What is your turn? What are you doing? I don't get attacked by a ghoul berserker. And it's screaming Berserk? at me. Guts? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess... Hmm. What should I cast? Kill it! I, Do I have up grab? Are you out of spell slots? I'm trying to dictate that. Uh, cause I use... Use Fireball twice, use... The clone Imagine spell. Yeah. Meow. <laughs> use five spells. Well, I have the spell slots per level, right? Well... So you can either cast things at first level or second level at your current... Yeah. I usually always cast them at their normal. I don't like ever cast them above unless I need to. All right, how many first level spell slots do you have? It should be in your character Four. sheet. Okay. Uh, so okay. you would have had to at least cast something at second level then. How many second level spell slots do you have? Three. Okay, so you should have two spells left. Yeah. You just fire also, blow yourself right um, now. If you cast something at second level, you do add something to it, I believe. <laughs> if you're about to move, Jared, you gotta disengage or it gets an opportunity attack. Well, I'm not gonna move. I'm just gonna fucking shoot in his head. Magic missile, second level. Yeah, that gives it an additional. I think it's a plus D4. two. Plus two D4? No, plus two to the force. Okay. Do a normal I, get add plus, yeah. I get an additional die per level up. Okay, so you add 1d4 and add plus 2 to the total. You get an additional diaper? Max damage, nice. Minimum damage, unpog. No one heard Jared say he gets an additional diaper? He said diaper. <laughs> he sure did, didn't he? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, much... 21 force. You see this thing get torn apart by each missile. Limb getting oh, taken off one yeah. by one. He clutched the 1v1. <laughs> I did it. The 1v2. So and sad. it just pieces of pieces that just keep falling off. Anthony, it's been seven rounds for you. Nick, it's been I'm three. On the, I'm on the ground instant. <laughs> I'm getting yelled at by my party because I'm playing D and D. It's not your fault. You guys role playing as uh, Stranger Things characters? No. Yeah, I'm playing Eddie Munson, the no, wrestler. I, I I get the whenever I grapple something, I go ah, in its face and it gets Tracy intimidated. I don't love All right. This. So, Jared, you managed to kill both, uh, kill the vampire in front of you, barely with just a sliver of health, and you remember that both your friends have been knocked unconscious. Yeah, I'm instantly on the ground, chugging every health potion I have. <laughs> Alright, how many do you consume? 
I think I have like I think I have four. I'll probably drink like three of them. Uh, <laughs> Hateful uh, and wasteful. Absolutely not. I'm trying to have to get one tappered. You never gave your best buddy Lechuga that health potion you promised him I like six sessions ago. Well, Guys, you will you will never believe what I just uh, saw. <laughs> how many you drink? You said, Jared. Three. <laughs> All right, so roll. You'll never believe it. Six d four and plus two. Okay. Um. I just D4. saw Steve. Here's another one. Two, three, Anthony, aren't you supposed to be in Delaware this weekend? No, it's next weekend. Are you building bitch. your fucking Eva yet, bitch? Yes, yes. I have nothing to do on Friday at all, so I'm coming over and I'm building it the entire day. And I'm finishing it. If you need help. I am Gundam pilled now. I know you're fucking. You've been Gundam pilled. Plus yeah. two per? You know, Matt's, yeah, Matt puts them the together, time. but I don't think he's very good at it. 13. He, like, breaks stuff a lot. He drops stuff a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. That's how it goes. I mean, I want to know. I've never done it, but those pieces are very small, and I don't blame you. Oh. Who left? Who left? Well, that I was Jesse. That left. Jesse, I moved yeah. to the pit by inactivity. So how much? Though. Thirteen. All right. So you get thirteen H HP back. Augers. And what are you gonna do? Or you guys want to leave off here since it's midnight now? Um, yeah, um, yeah, sure. you gotta, I, yeah. Wait, I would like to know if I'm alive or not. Can we do yeah, that? Yeah, true. Yeah, all right. So yeah, can we figure Nick... out if we're dead so I can make a character if I'm dead? Yeah, I would like to make the character before. All right, dead. so follow the rule in the house rules. So hit zero HP. They will not start making, depending on how many turns it takes, someone to reach them. So you had, yeah, seven, yeah, seven for, seven for, so Nick, you would just do the same regular three. First three to either death or save, since it was only three turns, but you have to do seven, so you have to get four. I have to get four what? How is it? Do I roll? And then I so, you're, so, you, so if you get so if you get four deaths, if four fails, you're dead. Four yeah, what's saves. A, yeah, what's, a, what's a success? Ten is a ten. A, ten, ten or up is the save, a, a save or a success. success. Yep. And then anything below is a fail. Yeah, right, you one, one pass. Or I'll, I'll and... wait till I storm. Three, one fail. I just saw Steve. Two, two fails. You got this, Anthony. Just crit. Seventeen. Two and two. Two, two to two. Three. That's three fails. Seven. I'm fucking full dead. Wait. Two. No. <laughs> Not... I died. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're dead. Awesome. <laughs> oh, brother. All right, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. One uh, pass. Eleven. One pass. Two pass. pass. You're done, right? That's the three. No, I need to get three. I just One fail. Steve. Wait, I, I have to three. get it up to three. Two, Two fail. fail. Nick, oh, uh, you better live, bitch. Twelve. Let's go. <laughs> My man's alive. Hashtag pack watch. Hashtag rip bozo on Anthony. <laughs> so Anthony, unfortunately, Mukong has been claimed by God. I'm gonna need a character sheet so I can, I can make a memorial for him. <laughs> awesome, bro. <laughs> At least you don't gotta Anthony. suffer third level exhaustion. Because so you ain't finding that water. Yeah, true. That's so yeah, you can finally stop playing this dog fucking race. <laughs> that you used for absolutely nothing <laughs> other than being exhausted. Awesome, bro. <laughs> Nick, he's a Don't frog. Worry, maybe, it's silly. Maybe your bad luck goes away when you uh, make a new character. promise you it won't. Anthony, you can make your next character at level 4. I mean, that's not too bad, honestly. I thought I was going to die this session, to be honest. When Jesse Here's said, fucking... we're going to fight this, I knew I was dead from that moment on. <laughs> I 
I can barely this hear him. Time. This is the second fucking time my character has full died in a D&D &D campaign, and I've only played in four! <laughs> and I've finished zero! I don't think a single one of my characters has died in And me. twice I fucking died! Why are you screaming? Fuck you, bro. Because he just died. What the fuck? Don't be an ass, Brian. Come on. I'm gonna send you to Eddie Munson Heaven if I'm you don't knock break it off. I'm gonna fucking neck, bro. I actually am so fucking pissed off. Just make the same character, but it's his brother. No, I'm not. Doing mm -baka that. Um. God bless the man who mm walks um. into my cross here. Or you are his maker. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. Let's go. Yo, doggy. What's up, buddy? Anthony, I swear to God, if you get on Valorant and don't tell me, I'm gonna scream. Get on, I'm getting on Valorant, hello? Uh, can I have Anthony share of the XP? He picks it up off my body. I don't want to let it. If anything, Jared would get it. If anything, Jared would get it. Before the body goes cold, I just want to know, am I getting some of that, or... His XP will not be, his XP will not be dispersed, but his belongings will... So he has the magic nice. rope and whatever else is on him. Oh, uh, look at that motherfucker! I need, I need to pour another shot, dude. This you need is, the nicotine. I poured one out for Mbaka. <laughs> I got you. Grab him up. Uh, Can everyone please pour one out for him, please? <laughs> Bloodline cracked it open. Rest in fucking peace, dude. Rest in piss. Check one. Hold on, Jared. Let me hear the bubbler. Hold Where's on. the webcam I, at? I can't. I'm fighting Shadows of Doom. Alright, I'm taking this shot. Rest in I peace. fucking died he will, because he's he will be remembered. Fuckers keep taking our pools. Rest in piss. He will be missed. <laughs>